right, the EJ Podcast, we're back another week, another episode, you guys know how we do it, hope you guys are doing good out there, Be nice with you right here, Big J in the building, Big J, what's going on? What up, man? What how man? you doing, man? Chilling. Chilling, chilling? It's your boy, Mr. No Chin Hair, K.K. Ariel, on the side. Wrong person, sorry, wrong person. Shout out AJ, shout out AJ, of course. Your fantasy football team sucks, bro, just gotta let you know that. Yeah, uh, speaking of fantasy, our, uh, this is the last week of the season. Yep. Uh, some interesting matchups. You need tomorrow's you need to win. Going, you need to win. You have a couple other teams to yep. lose. You get into playoffs. Yep. Yep. I already got my spot locked in the playoffs, couple, along with the other couple guys. Our conference, for those who don't know, we got 11 versus 11. So we got like an NFL-type fantasy football you know, hard tomorrow, man. league like, going up. A lot of the clowns to lose tomorrow. That's what I mean. Oh, it's going to be a big Sunday. I'm going to talk a lot of crap on the message board. The, on the group chat on Facebook. It's going to be awesome. Before we get into that, we got our homie Kaiwan back in the building with us. Kaiwan, what's going on, man? How you doing? I appreciate it. You're coming in original, man. Original. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's all love, man. We love to sit down with people and just talk some crap, talk about whatever, basketball, football, baseball, which is rare how we start the show, but I'm going to talk about it. Well, well, all right, well, it's well, baseball. Well, Shohei well, Otani. Dropped the news a couple hours ago. Oh, wait. Is he going to them? He's going to the yeah. Dodgers. Wow. I'm kind of glad he didn't go to the Yankees. I'm pissed he's not going to the Cubs. He's going to the freaking Dodgers. Ten years, $700 million. A disgusting contract. Like, disgusting. That's insane. I mean, it's almost the same thing as uh, the Yankees gave Stanton. Yeah, well, Stanton is huge. Stanton yeah, was, seven, I think, 13 six, years, 700 million, something like that. Cabrera's, that shit was pretty big, too. Cabrera, yeah. six something. A-Rod's was yeah. big at the time. Pujols was huge. Dang, 10 years, 700 mil? Yes. Jeez. Signed with the Dodgers. Unexpected. I mean, the Dodgers don't suck. After that, that, yesterday, there was false reports that Otani was going to Toronto for a visit, I and he never even went on a plane. I'm the last one to talk about baseball because I don't. I don't. No, I'm not going to say I don't, don't like f- it. You don't follow don't it follow much. It. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with the only, that. The only time I watch is in postseason. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they got me. They just traded for Juan Soto to steal. Like these teams, the most hated team in baseball, probably all of sports, is the Yankees, hands down. But I think so. By by other fans, by other fans. I think they have the most fans, and I think they might have the most hated fans. Yeah, no, that's true. That's a big fact. They got the most fans probably in all the sports. And, a lot of hate and, and there's a lot of, they got the most hate out of any team in all the sports, in my opinion. Because of what the hell is that, what, buy the bullpen quote that everybody says they do? Oh, yeah, they buy it. Buy, they buy it. Buy now they're buying their hitters. They they paid for Judge to stay, right? Judge stay, right? Yeah, yeah, he stayed. That was last year's contract. They signed him to a two-year or three-year. Well, I thought it was one. They signed Judge only at three years? Or because of the amount of money he wanted. Now that he sees that Otani got seven hundred, he's gonna go somewhere and make eight. He's gonna go Probably make eight, so he's gonna want to, you know, break the the record. The best team on paper in, uh, MLB. Without gotta, doing my homework, honestly, right now gotta, for hitters, it's Rangers, Yankees. Gotta be Rangers right now. Did they just win? Rangers just right, Rangers they just, just won. won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just won Still, I mean, on paper, win. they're probably not the best team, but they won the World Series. Won the World Series. I mean, which is good about baseball recently because. Just because I, you buy your squad doesn't mean you're going to win the title. That's the thing. That's the thing about baseball. You can never guess who's going to win the pennant. You can never win. You can like right now. Next year could be fucking. Excuse my language. Yeah, you could be could be the Cardinals next year. You know what they call The Cardinals are always good. Like, you don't even know. Like that's the thing about basketball. Basketball, and football. It's kind of okay. Kansas City will always made it to the championship. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Eagles. Next thing, like with with baseball, it's going to be anybody. Toronto Blue Jays. What the hell that come? Where the hell that come from? Chicago White Sox, where did that come from? Well, that was back, yeah, that was back, back in 05, like, but still. You can never guess who's going to be nice in baseball. You can never, you can, it's hard as hell to do that. Like you said, if the Yankees, it's hard to buy, predict the winner. If Yankees buy all their players, they still ain't going to make it that far. Even the Yankees matter. haven't won since 09. Look at that, see? And they, you know, they spent the most money almost every year. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but mostly every year, Yankees spent the most money Sounds for their roster. Cowboys, Jerry Jones. <laughs> That's another, another one. Another one. They like to spend the money, but they, they don't do anything. They haven't won in, what, over 30 years, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Almost 30 years. It's like 27 or something like that. So. Like, like, but like, just like hockey. Hockey's another thing. You can never guess who's going to be a powerhouse in hockey, either. So if hard. you know hockey. If you know how you can kind of tell. Know, Again, I don't, I don't even if know, you like know the reason. sport, you can tell who's going to be good. If you know the sport. Maybe, 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 baseball, maybe baseball's the most unpredictable one. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably agree with you. Because even yeah, the experts maybe, last year didn't pick Texas yeah, to maybe, win it all. Yeah, maybe hockey is a little more predictable because of players, but 
hockey hockey's more like on the football. There's a lot of fans for hockey. If you know hockey, you know it's gonna be good. This is, Boston's this, gonna this be is good. Not more than I thought there was the fans of hockey. People love fucking. Oh hockey. yeah, there's a lot. Like I, I wouldn't, you would never think about it. people like hockey, hockey, like yeah. good. And I heard going to a game is tough too, like an actual game. We, we've water? been to a few uh, hockey like games, Wolfpack, Wolfpack games, games like back in the day. I heard about that guy um, that got killed. I think, I think got killed. Um, it was a hockey event. Yes, it wasn't NHL though. It wasn't, it was a hockey, he was playing hockey and I guess... The, 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 the skate went up, the hit him in the neck. The, ring, the, the, the sneaker. Yeah. The, the, sneaker, the, 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 the skate, the skate, yeah. recent? It was recent, very recent. Shit. Within Within the past three, four months. But what are the chances of that shit happening though? I, this, I'm not sure. Nah, nah, they, they already ruled out intentional. They, I think they ruled that out. All right, yeah. They investigated. They had to check it out because you, you have to. Because if somebody, somebody dies, you got to. Hit somebody in the neck with your blade that's at the bottom of your foot. It's kind of hard. I forgot play. how it happened. He got hit. His legs went in the air. And at that, when his legs went in the air, caught the guy oh, right in the neck. Shit. Yeah, that's the same. That, that's, that's too unpredictable. So they're trying that's to come up with a new way to have a longer face mask. You know, clear face mask so you can see and stuff. So just in case that that's, would happen, that's, that's rough, you hit the man. you, you that's hit the face mask. How good is that gonna happen though? The players, the players actually like the weight, the height. Yeah. These guys, these guys big. Oh, these big dudes. Drums, yeah. drums, drums like football players, man. They're, yeah. they're not that skinny, you know. They're pretty. Yeah. They're pretty big. You gotta. Yeah. You they're gotta built have, dudes. They're all like six, six, you six, you seven. There's some big guys in hockey. So we skating up, pushing all that weight up and down the up and down the. The ring like that, you gotta have endurance, man. Yeah, yeah you had the strength to do it because those pads are not light. A lot of them are missing their teeth, but I noticed that. Yeah, a lot of them are missing their teeth, man. A lot, a lot of you know, hockey pucks to the face, fights. Yeah, fights. Yeah, imagine, yeah, that's man. That's the hockey that they don't want you to know about. That's the real hockey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So shout out Otani, man. I hate the Dodgers. I'm not a big fan. I'm a Cubs fan, obviously, but seven hundred million dollars. a lot of money man. for a guy. Who might not play until 2025, con- I think. Like might not hit- pitch until 2025. He'll hit next year. A contract like that I haven't heard of since in NFL. I saw Mah- Mahomes' oh. contract. Was it Mahomes' contract that? 10 years. 10 years, like 500 mil. mil. Yeah, 500 mil? yeah. But yeah, still. Because I know John Gruden was 10 years, 100 mil, something like that. Yeah. Uh, not, I don't think it was 100 mil. Yeah, it was $100 million. It was, was it? 10 years, $100 million. I don't John know about Green? that. For John Green? Yeah, yeah. It was 10 years something. I know it was 10 years. It was, it was a chunk of time. I know it was 10 years. Was I just don't know years. if it was $700 million. No, no, I said 100 I mean, $100 million, I'm sorry. I don't know. It could, it could have been. Because I know right now they're in the hall paying their coaches $80, $80 million. Yeah, for Green, coaches that aren't even there. And they're not there. Yep. Not there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I kind of believe it was for $100 million. That's, that's the Raiders for you, though. They're going to overpay for players and coaches all the time. They do it all the time. This, this is how they just never going to have anybody because they're in debt to their coaches. Now. Yeah. <clears throat> so right now, I think the favorites for next year are the Dodgers to win it all. Otani, they got Mookie Betts. They, they still got Kershaw, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Don't kill me out there if I, I, if I, I got that wrong. I haven't heard him go anywhere, so I don't see why they <clears throat> wouldn't have Kershaw. They, they got, got a good roster. They got Verlander? No, no, no. Verlander uh, was on the opposite team of Texas, or he was on Texas. When we played Texas in the, in the World Series, I think Verlander played for the opposite. Yeah. Again, I don't. I like yeah, cool, yeah, I like cool, to watch baseball sometimes, know, but I don't follow it enough right. to know which players where by now because Verlander jumped on many teams. Um, who else? There's a bunch of pitchers that move around a lot, uh, this, a this, lot. I, just, I can't follow. Baseball. It's just the big news of the day: Otani, seven hundred million dollars for ten years. I don't even think. I personally don't remember seeing the Dodgers on the list. That's all. It's insane. Any, any the thing is, for next year, he's only is, for next year he's only due DH because he did he did the Tommy John you know, surgery. You know, Kawan, that's the shit because you will never hear that contract in football. No, that's, and that's, the most no, never, most, never the most un non contact sport is baseball. And their salary, and their their contracts are beyond like nuts because you don't okay. do anything. Yeah, this is not the first time we've heard of contracts like this in baseball. You barely break a sweat when you're playing baseball. Yeah. Man. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, if you're in the outfield, you're not, you're not doing yeah, as but, much work yeah, as for you know. How long? And then you go, you get off, and you sit on the bench. Yeah, yeah, like this. Is a, it's a very I mean, off and on sport. It ridiculous. really is. Like, the contract is ridiculous. He'll probably get hurt next year. Like, still well, he, he he's had yeah. Tommy John surgery, so he can't pitch because he pitches and hits. He can't pitch until at least 2025. <laughs> but he'll hit next year. <clears throat> excuse me, but as a DH, so they, he's like they knew that half their season. Still paid him seven hundred million dollars. Yeah, he's worth that much. Yeah. He's worth the draw. They're gonna make that money plus dead some. So they knew he was a, they knew he was a, he was a double threat. He could hit, he could pitch. Yeah. 
He can't. He he's one of the best ever to do he it. Can't honestly, pitch until twenty twenty five, and they still paid him that money. Yep. Ridiculous. He's worth the draw. Ridiculous. That market that he brings That's for the fans and stuff is insane, huh? Home yeah. He had like forty homers last year, he's and a, he struck out he, mad dudes. He's, he's, he's like a beast. Yeah, he does both sides. Both sides. He's like Babe Ruth on steroids. Yeah. Very very rare. It's like super rare. It's like a pool host and a Randy Johnson put together. Yeah, it's super it's rare. He's a beast pitcher, and he's one of the top hitters in baseball. Uh, you know, throw back Randy Johnson. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. like Randy, Randy Johnson, Johnson was monster. Randy Johnson <laughs> was. <laughs> yeah. Yo, <man. laughs> Put Randy Johnson with with pool host and batting average. Yeah. That's yeah. Crazy yeah, it's like mixing them two together because yeah. he can yeah. hit. Yeah. Otani is a beast. Uh, Johnson do that. that and hit the bird, hit the bird. Oh, the bird. of I course. Video all the time, like that shit will never happen again, bro. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, the odds of that happening. Was, it's one of my favorite videos ever. That bird got fucked. Up. I don't care. <laughs> Already Johnson fastball. That bird died instant. So yeah, Otani signing with. The, I kind of wanted the Cubs to get him. Obviously, the Cubs got Suzuki. The Cubs got um, Bellinger. The Cubs got a good roster right now, but he, he would put it over the top. It would have been awesome, but we missed out. Dodgers gonna get him. He's gonna do maybe half the contract, and possibly possibly get traded somewhere. Who knows? But for the first few years, the draw of the crowd and the fans is gonna be yeah. insane. So they're gonna make their money back he, plus he some. No, he came from the Angels. Anaheim. Yeah, Anaheim. I wonder why they didn't. He couldn't money. They probably could. I don't think he just wanted to stay. He just want to test the market, see how much money he can get, and boom! Look, here's seven hundred million dollars. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. I don't, I don't hate on him for it, but right, so from, he's from, he's uh, from, he's Japanese, I believe. He's from the last overseas. time, the last time Kaiwan was here, we hit him, we hit off a couple topics. It was, uh, it was best, uh, best food ethnicity. There was a couple other ones that I don't remember, but he's back. We're back. We're gonna hit up a number, couple more topics. Oh, what did, what did we do? What was it? It was, it was food. Was it cartoons? It was. It was. Yeah, it was, it was animated favorite, cartoons. Favorite, yeah. favorite, favorite cartoons. X Men was like the last slide, you know, yeah, top one. Like it was the last slide. That was the last slide. Yeah. And then, um, okay, so then now, got got another one. Now, this one goes to who your character is, honestly. Like who, the type of person you listen to that makes you. Now, give me your favorite comedian. Who's your favorite Man, yes. comedian? Like I'm talking about. No matter what stadium you watch, he's gonna he's gonna make you laugh. No matter what, it could be now, it could be old school, it could be it doesn't even matter. You can separate it because there's so many new uh, it don't matter. Like, give comedians me, right give now me, that are three. awesome. Give me three that comedians like. right now that are, you can watch no matter what over everybody. That's do, you, do you watch comedy? You like stand up and stuff? Well, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. Uh, right. I like stand up. You know, I'll be honest with you, man. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a big Mike Epps fan. Yeah. I'm not. That's you know, it's crazy. People are gonna hate me for that. I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm not. I think, I think Mike Epps is funny. All right. I like uh, Aries Spears. He, he's not Hollywood. Aries Spears is not Hollywood. No, he's not Hollywood, but he's awesome. I do love Aries Spears. Do I didn't tell you for my for my, my little brother's bachelor party? Me and E met him at fucking yeah. your son. Oh, I got a picture. Yo, I got a picture was, with him. He was posted up on the column. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I got a picture with him. Shirt over his shoulder. <laughs> he was posted up on the column like this, texting. He was smoking a cigarette, and I told him, E, that's Aries Spears. He said, nice. I said, go check, go check. I was like, yo, go check. So I went up to him. Yo, you Aries Spears? He said, yeah, for sure. Yo, <laughs> yeah, he's a cool yo, dude. Right down to earth guy, man. Shout out Aries Spears. Y'all see, y'all, see the, y'all see the time uh, he was on a Corey Holcomb show? Did you see that? No, no, no. Nah. Nah, nah. nah. He's funny in general. Nah. He's funny as hell. Oh, Aries Spears is funny. He was, he was talking. He was, he, was, uh, he, was, he was all chilling. And, you know, he had, he had a little Hemi and everything chilling. <laughs> I guess the guy guy, he felt. You're disrespecting him. The, 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 um, I forgot the guy's name, but uh, you know, he, he's a, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a professional comedian, so yeah. you can't let a comedian get to you because that's what that's their job. That's their job, man. Yeah, don't get your don't get butt hurt. That's what they do. Exactly. All you gotta do is laugh it off. Yeah, yeah. Man, dude, he attacked him. Oh really? Attacked him. I gotta check that. I'll check that out. YouTube, baby. I see. You said you said absolute spirits. Who else? So I. Mike Epps, Gary Spears, and I think for me, this dude underrated. A lot of people don't really know him about him, but I think he's, he's very talented. Uh, Godfrey. Oh, uh, God. Uh, damn, his first name is killing me. Gilbert? Not Gilbert no, it's Godfrey. not. It's Randall Godfrey. No, is it Randall Godfrey? I'm, I'm, uh, Godfrey. 
No, I know, I know, I know who Godfrey is, man. He's a hilarious dude, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, his his Steve Harvey's probably the best one, honestly. Godfrey's Steve Harvey's one of the best. He's really, he he is pretty funny. He he was in um people don't know this, really old. He was in Zoolander. Oh really? Way back in the day. Remember remember oh, in Zoolander when space, um it's at the end it's Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller right, and they're trying to take the computer. Uh-huh. And remember they painted their face black. Yeah, like the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah, Godfrey was the one of the, the dudes. Okay. Was the black dude in the seed. If you if you look he's back, he's was, he's uh, bad uh, young. Excuse me on black TV. He was uh he was impersonating Dominicans. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I, I see that. I'm pretty sure I know you talking about. I just, I can't, can't, can't cut oh, you know, my face right now. Like, Have it here just like me. Yeah. Like me. Me not, me not black. Me not black, but me not black. I got to I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see what you talking about. Hey, nah, you familiar. know, you know who it is. You see him, you know who it is. It sounds familiar. Yeah, he, yeah. He's funny, man. So those are my three. That's uh, they they very funny, man. Okay. I think they they naturally funny. They're not like Hollywood up there with the big. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's fine with that. That's fine, man. You know, they, again, it's a personal thing. Again, comedians is like. Musicians, right. you like what you like. If you don't like them, you just you push them to the side. Whatever. Right, so, so if I had to choose, I think all his, all his old stuff because I know he, he died. He died. Or he died young. Bernie Mac, man. All his old yes. ones. Oh uh, my god. Bernie Mac's man. classic. He's one. Of, he's one of the OGs. He's one of the OGs. When, when, he, when he said kick ass, that when he said kick ass, <laughs> he's like I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, that killed me, man. That's the funniest shit. And yeah, then he did. Then he did the one with the, the milk and cookies. I don't want no milk and cookies. Yeah, yeah. He said, take your, take your sweet ass upstairs and get some rice. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was that was a Kings of Comedy, right? That was a Kings of Comedy, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, that's funny as hell. Bernie Mac is a legend, yeah. Yeah, he was great, Definitely, man. definitely. He was great, man. I'm fucking dead. He was a legend. I love... Um, even Dave. his movies. Even his movie scenes were funny yeah, as hell, yeah. too. In Friday. Yeah. I hate my gums because they black. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the back of my neck because it's black. <laughs> you know, he's so fucking stupid, man. He's awesome. Then, um, who else is that? I like, um, you, probably, you guys probably don't know who. You probably, you probably do Chris D'Elia. Chris D'Elia? Chris D'Elia. He was on That's the, unknown for me. He was on, his, his stand-ups on Netflix, they'll make you laugh your ass off. Right? Really? They're funny as hell. The skinny white boy, he was on, you seen, uh, remember that, remember that, uh, <clears throat> that song with Eminem and, um, Logic? You saw the guy who played Eminem in that video? Nah. Long hair? Nah. You never seen the long hair? I, I, I don't think I've seen the video. I haven't seen the video. Well, that's him. That's Chris D'Elia. And then another one? Why, why like, him, though? It's like, how many specials he got on Netflix and like, shit? There's like four of them on there. And he's oh, hilarious. really? He's hilarious. All right. He, he talks about the, uh, him being Denzel Washington, the man on fire. Yeah. He said, I want to walk into the, I want to walk into the club my shirt flipping with, with a dove coming out. He said, he said, no, it's not you because you're a fat fuck. A pigeon at best is going to come out of you. Like, it was funny. It was funny. I, I, I got to check it out. It was funny as hell. And then obviously, Dave Chappelle, man. Oh, Dave Chappelle's number one. His stand-ups on Netflix made me laugh all the time. Like, no matter like, how many times you see him. He doesn't care. Not, not even the old ones. His new ones now. The 2022 ones, those are hilarious. That one he, he put out. He put out three in a row when Netflix came with 60 mil for that. Yeah, yeah. They were all funny. Yeah, Every, yeah, and he each was one, just, each one was. He was they just, were. And it wasn't even him going hard. It was just him chilling, kick back. He was like doing nothing. Like what and, we're doing now, just chilling, talking, talking some crap. That's he, it. He was killing everybody. It was hilarious. And he was talking about how the transgenders always bag him because he always makes fun of them. Yeah. He said, I don't give a fuck if you like a dick in your ass. Like, <laughs> and he was just good. And it was just funny shit. Yeah, he got no filters. He don't, he don't. And it's crazy. One of his best friends was a trans woman. And, and she was, died. So he told the joke. He was telling one of the stand He told the joke. And she was okay with it. She was cool. She thought it was hilarious. And they became close. And she was like, keep doing the jokes because it's just, it's comedy. That's what it's supposed to be. Honorable mention for me is, I love Kevin Hart's stand up. His stand up is yeah. funny as hell. I love all his stand up. His stand ups are funny. People don't like him because he's maybe too Hollywood. People think he's That funny. could be. That could I think be. All his stand ups are every single one of them are funny. Yeah. Every single one are funny. I and think I his think first two are the, the best. Um, I'm a grown little man. And, yeah. I'm a grown little man, and the other one is, I forget, seriously funny. Seriously funny. Those yeah. are the best. So he's making fun of Shaq yeah. and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, those, those are the best ones. And then Michael Blackson. Well, Michael Blackson's like, underrated. Well, he was on the Logan Paul show. He was like, some dude said I look like under the bed. You know who was under the bed? That's dark. Right, no, it's crazy. That's black as shit. <laughs> this, you know what's crazy? To a lot of people, that was new. 
Seagal. But yeah. I've watched. Remember when he did I that? watched stuff from back in the yeah, day. Michael like, Black said when he did that thing that he did a black piece of paper, he said this is more dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he kept on He again. did those jokes. This was back when uh, Diddy was doing uh, the Bad Boys of Comedy. Was comedy yeah. Michael Black did those jokes. So, when he did on the Logan Paul show, I was like, I've heard these jokes before. Yeah. It's not, it wasn't funny to me. <laughs> but I've heard it when he first did it on the Bad Boys Comedy. It was hilarious. <laughs> he was like, motherfuckers call me under the bed. <laughs> yeah, no, no. They call me 1159. Yeah, he said, yeah. He said, dude, call me 1159. Yeah, it's hilarious. He and he said, Stevie, he said, Stevie, want to kiss him. He said, Stevie, want to kiss this shit. He said, I don't get pussy. I don't get pussy. I get stomach. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he's wild, yo. He's an idiot, but yeah, sometimes he's wild. his jokes, some of his jokes are not funny, but when he hits, he hits, man. Not for real. Some of his jokes are a little too X-rated. Yeah, some of those are he, funny, but some of those like, all right, that's enough. Like yeah, for me, I'm see, good with you, it. If you keep thinking about him, you can even go Eddie Murphy, man, because Eddie Murphy is hilarious. That, again, that's my that's to go into my top yeah, three to real quick. I, was just, I, was just, man, I just forgot about it. Yeah, so for me, real quick, just to go into it, we got. Ed, Fox, well, that's throwback. That's more for the older generation. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, he was. Fox. Richard Pryor too. Same thing. I Legends. Think, I think Jerry Seinfeld's a funny comedian. I don't think, I don't think Jerry Seinfeld's funny, funny at all. At all. I, I I tried to watch a stand up, and I was just not laughing. Not, no not offense for, to people that like Jerry no, Seinfeld. No, not for other people. Think Richard Pryor is a king of comedy. <clears throat> I don't think Richard Pryor's funny at all. You're wild. Richard that, Pryor is funny. People say he was funny. I don't think he was funny. I don't even think Steve Harvey was funny. Eddie Murphy got a lot of his stuff from Richard Pryor. That's fun, but Eddie Murphy does it better. That's, that's I, an opinion. That's an that's, opinion. I mean, I, I don't think Steve Harvey or Cedric Entertainer are funny. And this must be the kings of comedy. The king Steve of comedy. Har- uh, Steve, Steve Harvey's rough for me. Steve Harvey's rough for me. Man. If anybody's in funny in that group, it's Bernie Mac. Oh, Bernie Mac's the funniest the in that group, hands not down. not funny neither. I don't think Dio's funny. Dio's not funny neither. No. So I got to go Chappelle. Chappelle. Eddie Murphy. Chappelle. Eddie Murphy is my number one, I think. Eddie Murphy over and Chappelle. Then, Eddie Murphy do a mean. He do a nice Michael Jackson. He does. He does. Like that, his Michael Jackson is on point. Stand up with, with, the, with the red, with the red leather suit. Orange. It was orange. orange. It was orange. No, it was definitely red. It was it orange. Was red. Definitely red. It was orange. It was red. Oh, red and purple. The lyrics is red. Raw was purple. That was an eight. I'm telling you, that was, was orange. It was one hundred percent red. All We're gonna make a bet on this. We're gonna make a bet on this. Five dollars. That shit was orange. <laughs> he said, he said, nah, I like. Shut up, bitch. He's like, oh, you can tell I was reading too. Yeah. That's one of the away. best. That's one of the best improv scenes I've seen yeah. in, in a stand up. So him. <clears throat> so I'd like Eddie Murphy, yeah. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. For a third, I mean, I don't know, man. There's so many. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's, of there's a lot of comedians there's out there. Oof, for stand-ups, because it's different. Because you can be funny in stand-ups, but George, not in movies. But you can be good in movies, funny, but not doing stand-ups. George Lopez is okay. George, Gabriel Iglesias is okay. He's not that bad. He's okay. George Lopez, I never seen a stand-up, right? So I just noted for the show. Yeah. I saw a stand-up one time. He sold out Cowboy Stadium, the old Cowboy Stadium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sold it out, right? And I, was, I forgot whose house I was at. And they were like, oh, let's watch George, George Lopez. I was like, he's not funny. Yo, Pop, he was like, watch this. Pop loved that, that stand-up. Yeah. He sold it out. Pop loved that he was like, watch the stand-up. Yeah. And he was like, I was like, where's that? He was like, oh, it's Cowboy Stadium. I was like, he sold it out? He was like, sold out within a couple of minutes or something like that. He's not the first one to do that, though. No, I know, I know. Yeah. But I didn't think of it no, because only, I, didn't, I, I knew two, George Lopez as a sitcom there's guy. There's only two comedians who did that, who sold out a stadium. Oh. It's only Kevin Hart and George Lopez. For Kevin, Hart, Kevin Hart sold out the Philadelphia Eagles Stadium. Oh, I bet. Yeah, he's from Philly. Philly. Yeah, he sold it out. And shit. Lopez sold out Texas, Texas Stadium because Mexico. Mexico's right there. Like yeah. they, I, they bought all the tickets. I oh, bet yeah. you. 100%, 100%. So that one, I, I sat and watched the whole thing, and that shit was show, so funny. Yeah. It was that so funny. funny. That look, yeah. that that was really funny. His show kind of corny, but him on again, it's a show. It's censored. Yeah, you can't do what you want to do. Him low key is funny though. Him low key is funny. But Definitely. that's one of my favorite stand ups. After yeah. that, I, I don't know. There's so many. Chappelle, Chappelle's my favorite. I think it's, I think it's Chappelle just, show just took it over the top, man. For stand ups? I took it over the top. Point, he was the goat. Yeah. I think he, he still, still is. is. I think he still man. is. The Def Jam contract? Yeah. He was the goat, and then he, after that, he went on the Benji. You know, he had a $100 contract with Def Jam. Def Jam? Def Jam. There was that whole thing with, with Kevin Hart. Yeah, that. a big contract with him. It was like it was $100 million. It was something crazy, man. He, I don't know if it was Def Jam, though. Def Jam's music. No, it was Def, con- Def Comedy Jam? Yeah, that was, yeah, really. That, that was that was that was that was a channel, wasn't that a channel or something? Like that? It was, it was a uh, I don't, I don't, yeah, oh, I'm Comedy drawing a blank. Central, something Comedy Central. No, I know Comedy. I know that whole stuff of Comedy Central was different. 
He had a huge contract. Bro, Google, with, with Google, Netflix Google. Too. Also, freaking Kevin Hart said that one time back in the day when he was performing in a place called The Cellar, Chris Rock hit him up and Chris Rock told him, listen, I'm going to go down to The Cellar. I'm going to spit some jokes. You want to come down and hear me? So him and Chris Rock went down there. Uh, um, Kevin Hart went up. And then, and then Chris Rock said, hey, that's stuff, stuff, stuff. And then Kevin Hart, then Chris Rock goes up. Uh, they're, all, they're all doing good, they're all doing good. So Kevin Hart and Chris Rock left that place while they're running into Dave Chappelle. And Dave Chappelle said, oh, I'm about to go on now. That everything that Kevin Hart and Chris Rock said, Dave Chappelle was up there for 45. They said they crinkled up their paperwork and threw it in the garbage. They said that Dave Chappelle nailed everything that they said and made it funnier. Yeah. He said that nobody's funnier than Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock said that and so did Kevin Hart. He said Dave Chappelle is just... Out of pocket, funny. Yeah, yeah. He said, "There's nobody better than Dave Chappelle." That, yeah, he's my favorite. Him and Eddie Murphy, my favorite. When you're up there as a jokester, you, you come out, you throw away your material because somebody else said it better. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I, th- those are the two off, off the top of my head that are awesome. I like a couple other people that had like, to me, one stand up that was awesome. Like what? Like Cat Williams, the Pip Chronicles. He had more than one that was funny. Nope. Just the one. Pimp Chronicles was funny. Just man. the one. For me, personally, just the one. The Pimp Chronicles of, was hilarious. He had a lot of repeats in that one that was spread out to a lot of his other ones, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot American, of, like... American, it spread to American Hustle. Yeah. And then there's a lot of uh, cat, cat a Apocalypse and shit. A lot of his jokes from Pimp Chronicles were in all those other ones, too. I'm like, yeah. he keeps saying the same shit over there. Yeah, he's in different states. Yeah. So it's understandable to say different, the, the same joke, but reuse Pimp them. Was but nice. if you record it... You gotta use fresh stuff all the time. That's why I didn't like those. Well, Pimp Chronicles was good though. That was, that was a really good one. Pimp Chronicles was my favorite one from Cat Williams. That was it. That was a good one. After that, that was it. He's he's okay. Funny. He's in funny in certain spots and movies and stuff that I've seen. Yeah. He, he could be funny when he wants to, but now he's gotten more dumb. I think after all the stuff that happened to him, we're he's getting beat up by a fourteen year old or something yeah, like that. Not, yeah. He's not funny <laughs> no more. That's over fifty million. Though. I thought it was a hundred million. Though. He's not funny. Either anymore. or, it's still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money. Yeah. Comedy, Comedy Central. All right, so you, those are your top comedians. Well, top two, basically, because I don't really got a third. Like, it's Chappelle and Eddie Murphy. I think nobody else comes close for me. Those are my favorites. Nobody's touching them. But, okay. again, I have stand-ups that I like. There's shows and movies that I like of comedians that are not as good as their stand-up work. But Who, okay, who do you think is a comedian that's a good actor besides Eddie Murphy, obviously? Oh. Tony, Jeez, Tony, putting me on the spot. Tony, I don't, Kevin Hart, obviously. Kevin Hart is one of them, obviously, for sure. I probably yeah. put Kevin Hart as my third, but that, that, that was like, a who's a good comic, actor? Who's a great, great comedian? Comic, but then also a great actor because Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's probably number one, hands down. This cat too was a good actor too, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Yeah. Was what, what was he in? Though? He was in Guess Who. He was yeah, in Guess Who was awesome. He, was like, he's a, he said Transformers, the first Transformers. He sold Shot Above that yellow card. Bumblebee. Yeah, he did. Bumblebee. Yeah, he yeah. Said, ah, he said, he said, he said, if I had a rock, I'm busting your head, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's funny. That dude, that he, that. But he didn't do too many movies. Eddie Murphy, I mean. Eddie Murphy by far is probably the goal. Yeah, between both. To go to both. Yeah, to both. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. But Kevin Hart is always making his way up there. Kevin Hart's up there for he's sure. Making his way for up sure. There. Now he's there, right? He's <clears> kind of out. And yeah. Kevin Hart's in. But, so, anyway, but Eddie, Eddie Murphy's movies, some of them are classics oh, for comedy, man. Well, Nutty Murphy, Professor. Professor um, Bowfinger. Oh, my God. Bowfinger is awesome. <laughs> Bowfinger is awesome. The one with Martin, the prison. The one he was in, uh, they were locked up. Life. Oh, life. Life. Oh, bro. Life was Dang. awesome. Life is one of my favorite know, movies, man. Life, That's so life, good. Life, life. You ever see the bloopers of life? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The bloopers of life were. You I know what's crazy? Uh, Bernie Mac is in life as well. Yeah, That's Bernie crazy. Mac's in life too. But he's. Well, when you think about that movie, you think about. Eddie Murphy, for sure. Martin, well, you know what's crazy? People are going to a lot of heat for this. What? I don't like Martin. I don't like the show. I don't like him as a comedian. I, I love Martin. I don't like Martin, man. The show Martin, I base it on his people gonna talk. People are going to talk. Yeah, no, he the, the old nah, the, 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 the teeth. That's just funny. Yo. That's just not funny. That's what's funny back in the day. People are gonna hate me for this. I don't like Martin. I don't. People, people I, the show funny. wasn't funny to me. I love what he did, Shanae. Yo, it was the fun. Well, him and Pam used to go at it. What's going to do, Pam? What's going to do? That was Jamie Foxx, right? Who? Wanda. Yeah, Jamie Foxx was Wanda. Fox. That was, that was Jamie Foxx. Gotcha. Now he's another comedian that had a couple good stand-ups that went to acting. Who's really good? Right. He's Jim another Jim one. Yeah, he's underrated. Jim Carrey too. Jim Carrey. Robert but he didn't do stand-up. Robert, he did. A, he did a lot. A little bit. 
Robin Williams did a lot of stand-up Jim too. Jim Carrey, I always thought he was a weirdo with the mask and all that. Like, oh, man, this is awesome. Jim Carrey's one of my favorites. He's, he, for, for movies. For movies. But uh, Martin, Martin, Martin's, they talk, they talk about like, the God of fucking, um, he put Tracy Morgan on. Yeah. He put a lot of, he did put no, a lot he probably of did. On. He probably did. Lot, lot I of, just personally. On, on that, they, they, when they were giving him big ups, Tracy Morgan was on stage crying, telling him if it wasn't for you. Because you remember Tracy Morgan was on the episode of Martin? Where he stole Martin's car? Guy one? Don't. He was Tracy Morgan. His first pop up appearance on the TV show was on the Martin show. Well, he stole Martin's car. Mm. And he put him on. He put him on everything. Oh, people funny. are gonna hate me for it, but it I don't like Martin. Martin was, I tried watching it many times. I, I don't like I it. I don't like Martin because I don't like Gina. I don't like that actress. I don't like her at all. She's a good actress. I thought I don't she was good. She's pretty. I don't think she's. She's a oh, you go. She's a horrible actress. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's horrible. Who do you think is the goat? In uh, as far as uh, black actors, right? Overall, the goat right now. Oh, dude, hold on. Oh, you you read my mind. Like, hold on. You read my mind. I'm not gonna, we're going to jump to another topic now. I was going to say, give me your top three actors now. Uh, we didn't do this one yet, did we? We did. No, we did with AJ. We did with AJ. We did with AJ. But we're going to do it with Kaiwana because different. AJ and Kaiwana got different styles of movies. I can see that right now. Uh, did we, did we, did we, we know my top three already. Did we do that? I yeah, did, we did. I, for sure. Because I, I gave I my did, top I three. Did, I, did, I did Keanu, Morgan. Yeah. Okay, we did. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. But you know what? So run a, run a different one. We'll, we'll just get his. We'll get his top three. We'll get your top three actors. Then we'll run a different one after. So, so they, 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 just, they just hit every movie. I'm gonna tell you. Shit. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, the the goat right now, the goat like the Michael Jordan in Hollywood in the black acting. The Michael Jordan is Denzel. Of course, okay. hands down, That's hands down, down. untouchable. Okay. The goat. The Kobe Bryant of the black acting, the Kobe Bryant, like, now, I mean, he's going through some stuff right now, yeah. but overall, the movies, the, the box, the box offices, playing superheroes, everything, sitcoms. Dwayne Johnson, right? Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith, yeah. yeah. Give yeah dude, Smith. I, I, his, actually, his I, movies all hit. His, I can't, movie, I can't hate. Years, yeah, his, years, yep. the right his, his, his stuff, no. Over the years, he's not going through stuff. Jay is going through stuff, no, no, but the stuff that's a different topic. Through, his movie's always but he's a Kobe Bryant. Oh, always. He's, always he's a Kobe Bryant of the yeah. black yeah. legend. Will yeah. Smith right now. Yeah, you're right. Before Denzel was the Jordan. Yeah, he, he had a couple ones that were like... You got, you got Will Smith at number two behind Denzel. That's hard. That's rough. That's pretty good. That's not bad. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. Will's better? He's great. He's better than Denzel? No, no. He's not better than Denzel. No, no, no. Well, you said it like you got him behind him like... Number two? No, like, like you got Morgan third, Freeman, you got Samuel Morgan Jackson. Freeman, third, Morgan Freeman's a goat, though. You can't. My third is, he's before Denzel, but back in the times, you know, we ain't, black women didn't really have a lot of spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More like the 60s, and 70s. Okay. You know, 50s, 60s, 70s, Sidney yeah. Poirier. I don't know who that is. I, mean, Sydney Poirier. I know who that is. I haven't I watched know, enough he, stuff. He's like, Old timer, like, he's one. Of, he's one of the first. He's one of the pioneers like, for sure. He was big time, you know. Movie, movie wise, Poirier. all that. Yes, oh, yeah. Okay. All types of movies, westerns, all the, yeah. Poirier. Okay, so this is a solid list, man. Solid no, he's list. good. He's one. He's one of the pioneers oh, of you know, of acting for the black community for real. If you think about it, can you actually name one Denzel Washington movie that didn't hit? Virtuosity, easy, Denzel. easy. Virtuosity was trash. Was it, did, I haven't. Even, I never even watched it a second it, time. It, did, out of all the ones he done, is just that one. Yeah. It's just virtuosity. Just virtuosity. You got. You got. You got to like. What's the most famous Denzel line that was? Uh, like. It's got to be the, the twelfth of training day. What? Training day. You yeah. in the office, baby. Yeah. You in the office. Baby. Oh yeah, yeah. training day. That's that's classic, bro. Yeah. You in the office, baby. <laughs> Are you blue, blue, blue? No, that's the best shit ever. Yeah. Okay, so me? okay. All y'all niggas in Pelican Bay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the King Kong, actually, matter of fact, King Jake. Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> the King Kong ain't got shit on me. That's his, that's his most famous line. Yeah. The King Kong got shit on me. Yeah, but yeah. What, was that was be- classic. what was his best movie? Is it that one? Mm. Uh, I love, I I'm John I love Trinidad. I'm John Q's John one of my favorites. John Q was a good fucking I like when he played Frank Lucas, American Gangster. Oh, that was, that good was awesome. That was, that was, that was good. good. Yeah. Funny, 10%. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> my money, right there. Oh man, nah, I gotta you know, go. You know, ruined, you know who ruined that movie? Russell Crowe. Oh, he wasn't too bad. He ruined that movie. He's the, he's he, not, the he, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't play a, too much of a greedy detective like he was supposed to. 
But because he, he wasn't. Yeah. That, in real life, that dude wasn't a greedy guy. Yeah, he just wanted to be by the law. Yeah. yeah. But so was that his best one with training day? You think? No. Yeah, he made a lot of them. I, I got for me personally, it's probably John Q. Me personally, John Q was good. I love it. I can always watch it and be yeah, like, yo, I can tear, I can tear up, I can tear up. Have you seen the Equalizers? I have not. They're good, yo. One, I, have I, haven't, I, haven't I, seen I believe three. it. I haven't seen three. One and two, what, really good. Civil War one. Which one, Glory? Glory, yeah, Glory. Bro. That's a classic. Yo, check it. Look at my hair. That's a classic. It's funny you brought that up. That's one of my favorite war movies of all yo, time. Classic, Denzel, bro. Matthew Broderick. Carrie Broderick, Broderick. Carrie yeah. Ailes is in there. And the dude from... I, don't I know, heard Vin Diesel's in there. I think Vin Diesel's Vin in. I've seen that movie oh, no, like, like, over 25 times. Google he's it. I think Vin Diesel's in. Vin, I think he's I'm in not, glory. I'm, I'm going to hate the movie now when you say that. No, check it out. Check it out. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. When, <laughs> yo, when, when Matthew Broderick died and Denzel got up and took the flag and ran up the hill and got shot too, bro. You remember when Morgan Freeman slapped Denzel Washington in that movie? Mm-hmm. Bro. That is the best. He said, what are you? Trash talking, uh... Uh, run, swamp running nigga. He said, "If you if you don't watch what that's, mm-hmm. that's all you ever gonna be." Beast mode scene, bro. Like like Morgan Freeman was in his face talking shit to Denzel. Young guy is Denzel too. Clean shaved, like young as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Good look at Denzel. Bro, it was it's a Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Dude, he was he he was one of the, he was in that movie where he hated the whites because he was obviously a slave. But bro, that movie hit so hard, yo. You ever seen that movie? He? Nah, yeah. I just saw the whole thing. That movie hits hard. Ask Erica. No, right now, come on. My wife hates that movie because if you want to watch Glory, let's watch Glory. Glory is so tough. Matthew That's Broderick in that movie. So I'm, I might take time tomorrow to watch that. Amazing. I would take time. That movie, because for me, that movie made you feel like you was in, you was in the, the how you union. Felt. You felt you how they in felt. The union, and then y'all was they were, these, these places. They were the, and then at the end, how yeah, it all went down. They were the first, they were, like, they they were the first black troop to go into what? The Massachusetts 54? The first black yeah, troops ever to go to see war because back then the blacks were only held for manual labor. Yeah. All the trees. Underpaid. Yeah, underpaid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, Matthew, until Colonel Shaw pushed them. Like, these guys are good. These guys fight with heart. They almost took the fort by that much, yo. Right? Almost yeah, rained the fort and everything. That fort was never taken in history, ever. To this day. Really? Nobody ever took that fort. But they got the close. They were inside the fort, almost took that shit, and they all died. Mm-hmm. That's how the movie ends. Sad. Blah, 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 gun smoke everywhere. All died. Without heart. Beast yeah, yeah. mode shit. Man. I check it out because I love movie, stuff like that. That'd, bro, that'd be that a good movie, movie to watch. That movie, no lie, that movie hits harder than Saving Private Ryan. Dude, just imagine. It hits like, harder than um than Paid the Patriot. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It hits hard. Yo, so one of the best war movies ever. Being in, being in them days, like the Civil War, yeah. how, they, how they do warfare back in them yeah. days. Like, the, you know, they, they march single legs yep. back and forth, yeah. and they all got to fire one time because it's no, it's no automatic. Yeah, it's, it's, gu- it's gunpowder holster. It's musket. Yo, you heard? One time. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that, he, yo, Matthew Bond, it was a great scene. This one dude, this black the slave, he was a good, he was a squirrel hunter back in the day. So with his musket, he was shooting bottles. Nice, because what this is. So Matthew Broderick, being a good colonel, he said, so how many times, because uh, he said a good man could fire three shots in a minute. And that's with loading the gun barrel and taking the whole stick out. This guy said, do it. He said, let me see your gun. This guy was reloading calmly because he was under pressure. The fire is going, do it. Do it. He's under pressure, do it. Do it. This guy was, he dropped the thing out of his mouth. He couldn't do it. Because he was teaching him, like, yo, under pre- no one's going to stop for you to load your gun. Yeah. Was, yo, the movie, was, hands down, the movie's the best movie ever, yo. I'll check it out. I'll check when, it out. When Denzel Washington ran away from the camera, he ran away. And then they went to whip him. The Irish, the Irish car said, dude, he has to get a whip and he ran away. He took off his shirt, number whips all over his back. And uh, they looked at him, yo, like, you really going to do this? And this guy's like, you got to do it. He did it. Bah. This guy slapped him. Then one day, the best scene ever. You probably, you probably seen that in meme. Guns and Watson with the one tear comes out of his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that see was, that. That scene was, the, that was, that was a sad scene, bro. When he came down, he's like, he's he trying to be tough. He couldn't do it. But when they kept hitting him, he's like, boom, and the tear came out of his face. A badass movie, I'm telling you. Bro. <laughs> I, I haven't seen classic, the whole thing. I'm gonna check it out now. I'm gonna watch the whole thing now. Come on, you hit for that one. You hit for that. That movie was awesome. Morgan Freeman was a beast in that movie too, bro. He's one of the. He, they, they they made him bro, the Brigadier General, and he he like led the troops to everything, man. He was a beast, man. I'm gonna check it out. I, that movie, two of my favorite actors right there. I gotta check it out right there. You know the other. You know the other actor, the the black guy with the glasses. Remember, he said he said I'm your first. I'm your first volunteer. Mm-hmm. Forgot his name, man. You know him. You ever seen Brooklyn Nine Nine? 
the the, bar, the, the cop, the, the head the guy in charge. Yeah, the, the the captain, the black guy. I know the bald guy. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. I know who he looks like. I don't know who, him, who he is. But he was younger. Okay. He's actor, yo. Beast. No, he's oh, good. I, I've heard of. Hey, you know who Kerry Elvis is? No. Remember the Jungle Book? The guy who played the bad guy in the Jungle Book, the movie. Oh, the, the, the Golden guy. No. Okay, you, you <laughs> never seen oh, you never seen Princess Bride either, have you? Nope. Damn, who who's Kerry Elvis? You know who Kerry Elvis is? I'm telling you right now. You know who he is. I probably know my picture or photo. Hundred percent, you know my picture, but it's coming in the movie. Oh, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Remember how funny that movie was? Yes. Robin Hood. Oh really? Robin. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's yeah, I know who it. that is. He played Colonel Shaw's. They made a. Now I know he's talking about they, Mowgli. How yeah. uh, <laughs> Jungle Book? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they played. They made him Sergeant Major. You know, like this one. You know, like the two uh, Don Cheadle. Oh, no, Thatcher's a goat. He's, he's one of the goats. Yeah, he's yeah, good. He's really good. He's good. He's he's really good. He plays all the detectives on, yeah. on the covers. Yeah, he's good, too. Thatcher's slept on, actually. Damn, bro. I want to go to watch Glory. And that Glory's theme song hits so hard. The, 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 I might, the, I might the have, the have, to to have to watch it tomorrow. I might have to watch it tomorrow. I'll check it out. You got to watch it. Because I love non-fictional stuff. That stuff is... It happened before. It was just real. Yeah, The first ever tree True stories are always good. All true stories are good, man. They're all good. Well, all those actors, they hit it the right way, man. It was It was tough. The fighting threat because these men they want to fight, but these guys didn't want to give them suits, didn't want to give them socks, shoes. These guys are marching in bare feet. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah discrimination they, for sure. All these, sure. Like, he's, Matthew Broderick, being a white colonel, went into the, the, the general's office, knocked out all his chairs. There. He said, you think you, you think you can keep men 20, 20, I need 1200 pairs of socks and 600 pairs of shoes. You think you can keep men without shoes and uniforms? Making a stink. And then all, next thing you know, all the black guys are happy. They got boots, socks, uniforms. They march they better. The they handle themselves they better. The oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I yeah. bet. The the, part. Yeah, yeah, Matthew Broderick was like, he said, they march better. They, 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 take, they take command better than the white soldiers. Like, this beast mode shit, like, killing it. Matthew Broderick killed that shit, that movie. I'm not a fan of really him, but uh, I got to check it out. If you, if you didn't like him, you'll like him now. All right. I, I might have to check like it out. him now. Because I'm, I'm not a fan of Ferris Bueller's Day as off either. He, he only got... Remember Frederick Douglass back in the day? You were Frederick Douglass. Yes, Douglas. yes. He got that gig to be the, the major of, because he led uh, a Civil War group trying to go to the fort and died. Almost got his head blown off, got yeah. shot in the neck. Came back, Frederick Douglass meeting with his father, and they made him the first colonel of the 54th Massachusetts. Mm. That's how he got that job. I'm going to check it out. Because I'm lost with uh, all the stuff you're saying, I'm lost, but I'm going to check it out. This is good history, man. Good history. I'll check that out. It just, but it was, it, the thing is, it wasn't about the history. It was about how they acted, how they acted towards the white people and the black people. It's how they acted towards each other. It was, it was the actors. They hit it. They hit it. Every actor hit it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a rare. It was a rare scene of basically um, a union, yeah. black African American troops and the unions, the Union Army yeah. going against the Confederates. Yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was something rare, but a lot of history that a lot of people don't know about that. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one scene where uh, Abraham Lincoln brought down the, prox- uh, the approximation where any black soldier that was caught doing anything illegal and all that was put to death automatically. Mm. So Matthew Brother told that to his whole camp and expected in the morning when he woke up nobody to be there. Not one dropped out. Stayed in the whole. They all stayed in. No matter what. They didn't even care. They all they all stayed in. Yeah. That was the one he, he said. He said he woke up and said how many are left? He didn't even say that. He looked around the corner they were all still there. The beast mode, the beast mode. I gotta check it out. It's good, man. I, I, again, I haven't seen the whole thing. I see what what the movie that is about. I see. Well, anyway, got, see well, how it hits because you guys look. You guys apparently love the movie. I check it out. I love a good it's movie. Still, it's just, again, true stories. It's one of the few true stories I haven't seen yet. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, if you, uh, the good Denzel flick was that one. That's a good Denzel flick to watch. If you haven't seen any, you want to see a good one. That's a good flick to watch. That's when he first started out. It was good. I think yeah. actually, I think it came out before. Um, the one he did with John Lithgow. I forgot the one. Was that Philadelphia? One? No, no, the other one. No, that was with Tom Hanks, not that one. Uh, um, John Lithgow, he did a, a Ricochet. Ricochet, yeah, yeah, Ricochet. Yeah, Ricochet. This is before that. So I've seen parts of Ricochet. Yeah, I haven't is, seen the whole thing. This is younger, smoother than yeah, yeah. before Ricochet. Man on Fire yeah. was good, too. Man on Fire was good. Oh, Man on Fire was, Man Man Fire was awesome. Was good. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, was I love that uh, movie. That's yeah, really good. Fire. There was another one, too. What was that one? The, the chick that he was doing. Eva Mendez. Out of time. No, that was not Eva Mendez. Out of time is Eva Mendez. No, that's not Eva Mendez. Out of time is Eva Mendes. What about the one that the, 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 where, where Sanaa Lathan too is in there? Wait, wait, wait. This cat was um. What's going on to my life? What you call it? Um, the Superman dude. What's his name? Yes, um, Chris something. Chris Reeves. 
Chris Reeves. No, no, no. It's Christopher Reeves, yeah. That's... No, that's the Rez. <laughs> Christopher no, no, Reeves. No, 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 no. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. The that's um, Ripley's Believe It or Not. What's yes, I know. Uh, something Abel or Abel. Whatever. Something Cade. Well, yeah, the chick with the, the, chick with the, 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 the. Sanai Lathan. Okay, here, that's what I'm saying. Sanai Lathan and Eva Mendes in the movie. She's the cop. Eva she's the cop. cop. That's okay, his, that's that's his that. wife. Gotcha, gotcha. She just flies out of that movie. Of course, yeah, Eva Mendes. Oh. Yeah, she was flying on Oh, yeah, Eva Mendes fire. Because she was in Trader Day as well. We got to see a nip slip in uh, Trader Day. And that that oh, was yeah, awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> As a young kid watching that, I was like, oh, hold up. Pause it right there. Oh, he's like, oh, no, you know, I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. <laughs> My boy Alonzo, man. Yo, <laughs> that's a beast. Bad boy, man. It was a beast. Yeah, man. Oh, the shit is, he still got out of the car breathing. I was like, yo, you know, can't kill this man. Nah, he was a beast. It was but a you know, as soon as he knew it, when he was in the mirror, when they pulled up, we're going to get the bottle of your bullshit. Remember when uh, the yeah, yeah. Mexican tried to offer him in the tub? Yeah. When he saved that chick's life, man, that was the best shit ever happened to that dude. You know, it's crazy that, that that one dude that's in all the Mexican yeah. movies, the Mexican his, games, the bald guy. Is, yeah, yeah. His <laughs> What's name his is name? the same name in every movie. You know that, right? Is it? This, look it up. Every movie he's in, he has the same name. The same thing. Like he did that on for real. <laughs> he did that on purpose. Like, all the, remember, he was in Bruce Almighty. He was in Bruce Almighty. Yeah. Every movie you looked at, he was in the same name. He was what in what is Anarchy. it? It's, uh, the name is um, is, is it not Jorge or Sam? Some shit. When you look at all his movies. Same thing. He did it for a reason. Yeah, exactly. He always, always every always single one, man. Always. Every single but one. His name was the same. His name was the same. But he plays it so perfect. That's yeah, the thing, yeah, yo. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. you could tell that he at one point he lived that life. Like that was him, yo. Other Mexican dude too. He faced a real rough. Oh, um, the one, Danny, all, Danny something. Oh, Danny not, Trejo. Not Danny Trejo. Trejo. He wasn't in Trinidad. No, he wasn't in training. Well, the guy, that guy. Yeah, Danny Trejo. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Conor though. He, he, he played. He played the rapist in Conor. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. chick with the hearts. Yeah. He said. He said. You know what I am? And Nicholas Cage said, he "Ugly that, all day." He got that look like it, you know? Hold on. You the one from Trinidad. Danny Trejo. Oh no, I know Danny Trejo is. Yes. He wasn't Trinidad. No, I know that. I'm talking about the other guy in um, Trinidad. Mm. Not not the leader. Smiley. Not Smiley? Not Smiley. Oh, yeah, hey, you got your oh, shit oh, pushed oh, in. Oh, yeah, him. He's I, Tuco in Breaking Bad. Okay. You okay. Got, if you watch Breaking Bad, he's one of the main bad guys. In, uh, he's one of the first villains in Breaking Bad. His name is Tuco. He used, yeah, to, yeah. He used to uh, do the stuff he used to sell. Okay, okay. So he used to do the meth that he used to sell and distribute. So that, that was his down. That was part of his downfall. So, that's so you gotta check it out. It's it's, it's that, awesome. That's another underrated movie too, Con Air. Yeah, they, they bring them shows. I hate Con Air. You hate Con Air? I'm not a big fan. Cyrus Bro, the Pirates? Uh, no. Are you serious? He did good. Con Air was well, great. What's his John name? I Malkovich. forgot. Yeah, John Malkovich did good. You didn't like this Steve Buscemi did, did good. I like. He was bananas. He was a good guy. Yeah, yeah. He said Danny Trejo was like, you know who I am. This kid said. Ugly all day. Like, no, the, the, what bothered me is Nicolas Cage's character. It down was south, a down south fucking it, soldier. It man. was terrible. It was he terrible. Was a beast, yo. Nah, it was what garbage. Mean, I think his performance was garbage. He had the long hair. He had the long hair. Yeah. yeah. But because you can't compare that to fucking Face Off. No, it's not even that. I try to, I try to you respect movie? each movie separately. Travolta and Cage, they swap, they swap faces. Yeah. Bro, Probably, don't, don't say that. Don't it's one of the best action. Dude, it's one of the best action movies of dude, all time. I think you've never seen it's up face there. Off, bro. Yeah. Face Off is up if you, there. If you like like movies like just with action and just storytelling, yeah. dude, you gotta watch Face Off, bro. Face Off, okay. face off. Travolta bro, Cage is awesome. Travolta tries to infiltrate his uh, Nicholas Cage's brother where the bomb is at. Oh, wow. So in order, to, his brother only wanted to talk to his brother. So he took his face, put it surgically, put it on him. Wow. He had, but even though he killed his son, it was hard for him to act like mm. like. A, you watch it, bro. Oh my god! I didn't like. I didn't like Best um, John Travolta when he played me. John played Gotti. I don't think he did. I never seen. I never seen. It's called Gotti. I never seen that. Yeah, With the white hair and all that the shit. Best person I never seen. Gotti was a Mane Santi. I never seen that. Oh, yeah, I never that, see that. That was the best. I never seen. You're talking. Best. You're talking before me. I didn't even see that, yeah, that myself. Was the best, best Gotti impersonation though when a Mane Santi played it, and Anthony Quinn when he played Neil the the Coche. Man, that was that was. What, what, what movie the, are you talking about? Was, is it a movie or a show? It's called um, Gotti. The movie Gotti back in 95. It came, it came out in 95. Oh, really? Armand Sati played him. That was probably the best mob scene ever. Okay. When, when um, Anthony Quinn, he's, a, he's an old school actor, yeah. he played Neil Little Coach. He, he was a Neil Little Coach. He was an underboss yeah. in the Gambino family. 
he came in the, the Berber Fish House Lounge. I guess John Guy did something wrong in the family. This is one of the realest scenes. He was like, he told him, come here. You've been negotiating all day. What are you talking about? Shut up. I told the old man, he was like a son to me. The trolls are everybody. Huh? That touched, that touched the old man's heart. But if he told him, you got to go, I'll come with these zips. You got to go. That was good. That, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I honestly have never seen it. He's going to be scared over here, man. I want to watch the movie. No, I've honestly never seen it. I checked it out. I want to see it. I want to see it. Throwback actor, but he played the underboss for the old man. You let your Walter as an actor? John Travolta? Yeah. I'm not crazy about him. You know, I know his big famous one was Grease. Of course, of course. Oh, That's no, his I mean, big hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that was his, like, breakout. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, Saturday Night Fever was his breakout, but... I don't think... He has, he has some good ones. He has... Face Off was good. Face Off was one of his best. His daughter was good. Yep. Um, Domestic Disturbance Domestic was awesome. Domestic Disturbance was good with, with Vince Vaughn. That was good. Mm. That no movie, one, Domestic Disturbance, real quick. Underrated as hell. No it's it's great. Underrated. Every time I see Vince Vaughn after that, I see him as a bad guy. That's how good of a bad guy he did I, in that movie. When I see Vince Vaughn, I see Dodgeball. I don't. I, I, saw, I love Dodgeball, I Dodgeball but man. the whole time I saw Vince Vaughn as a bad guy. I was thinking, yeah, it's because of that movie. I'm it's so to, good. I'm trying to think. By the way, that's in the works now, right? What? Dodgeball 2. Is it? Ben said I already said I it's so it. late now. Is it, nobody, who knows it's going to be that funny? You tell me you're not going to watch it? I'll check it out, of course. They all look, <laughs> yo, Ben Center looks exactly the same. Exactly I mean, make, the make same. could do that for you. I I don't know. I don't know. It's so late. John Travolta, his one of his best movies. I forgot what it was. I'm trying to think about it now. I like From Paris with Love. That's good. That's okay. There was one that he just it was just he was acting was just on point. Uh, I think Face Off is top tier. Face Off was great. Face Off was great. I'm just hey, not the General's daughter. Cause General's daughter was good. Oh, damn. Nah, man, I don't anyway. know. To the to the back in the days. Marlon Brando. I never yeah, seen the, the, the Godfather. Oh, the Godfather. The Godfather I didn't see the Godfather either. Believe it or not. Never yeah. seen the, I've never seen the Godfather. Man, I'm, I'm, I've seen it I'm, once, I'm, and that I was know, years ago. I'm a clown for that. I haven't seen one or two. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's people crazy. Say, people say it's one of the best movies ever, and I've never oh, seen yeah. it. They both are. I've never yeah, seen it. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 I like Casino. I see. I like Goodfellas. I've seen those. Yeah. I've seen, those I, are classics. I've those seen are classics. Face, and I know it was in, it's, those more like. And I love. I love more like the history of how Italians lived. Right. Like the, the mob, I, that's why I, I, I love the Bronx the, tale too. Axes look like how yeah. they had a big weddings. Yeah. yeah. How, how everything was like how they did stuff. I yeah. like those movies like a Bronx yeah, tale, like a Bronx tale. Those type of movies, I like those movies. And but I just have. I don't know why I haven't had the time to sit down and even watch the Godfather. Maybe because they're long, man. They're about three time, hours each. Takes time, right. I know James Caan is real young in that movie. Yes, he is. I know yep, Pacino's yep. young in that movie. No, I think De Niro's in one of them or two of them. I, don't know. I forgot. I forgot which one. But um, like those type of movies, I like. Like Casino was a Casino was good. I like Goodfellas better than Casino. Casino, Casino took too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci with them. Yo, if, if Joe Pesci, is, if, oh yeah, for real. Joe Pesci he played it perfect. Is, yeah, if Joe Pesci is your sidekick as a hustler, then you don't need nobody else. Joe Pesci, <laughs> that dude at the bar, he sat there with the pencil on his neck, like for cutting the disease. He said, "You fucking asshole." He stabbed him in the neck with a pencil, yo. Just, but um, yeah, I like those psychopath. movies. He was a psychopath. This is a beast. He's just a great actor, yo. That is, and then um, there's just a whole bunch of movies out there. You just like we can sit and watch. Like, yo, that's a badass movie. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. One thing I can say, man, about the my movies, Rob De Niro and Joe Pesci when they get together, the movies. Oh, it's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic. Well, they only been together in one casino, right? What was another one? No, casino. Goodfellas. I think it's Godfather was one of them, right? Is it Ray Godfather Leone. together? Godfather. Ray Liotta was in was in Goodfellas. He he was. They De both were. De Niro wasn't in Goodfellas. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. De Niro and De Niro. Nah, he's got to be. Definitely Pesci. Definitely uh, Ray, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. And Goodfellas. Nah, Rob De Niro wasn't there. Yeah, that, yeah he's know. the main he guy. Jimmy Burke. He's the main uh, guy. He's the main guy. He's the one that played Jimmy Burke in it. Okay, he, he so they got about that. four. Wow, that, that, the only one I haven't seen was The Irishman. That came out recently. I haven't seen it yet. I heard yeah, it's really that good. That shit was fabricated. First of all, let me tell you something. That guy did not kill fucking uh, uh, Jimmy Hoffa. That was all fabricated. Michael Franchi said it in his YouTube thing. He was like, that guy, he was just trying to get some attention. So yeah, yeah. They know who did it. You know? What about The Intouchables? When the Niro played uh, Capone? Was that the that played Capone, right? No, no, no. The Untouchables was... So he played Capone. Who was that? I swear it was De Niro. Untouchables. Yeah, was, yeah, Wasn't that... Uh... 
Damn it. That wasn't the name is, dr- is slipping me right now. I'm telling you, the best mob movies is Gotti, Goodfellas, I'm Casino, uh, American Gangster, Godfather. American Gangster. American right? Gangster is not really mob. The, uh, Lucas? What else? It's, it's, not, it's not a mob. It's not a Italian mob. Italian mob, yeah. Harlem drug dealing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Drug kickpins, pretty the much. Best, yeah. best four mob movies, that, that's probably what I can say, is uh, so I, I, Godfather. I, 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 I hate to say that, man. I gotta take some time Gotti, to actually watch that movie, man. Gotti, yeah. Goodfellas, and Casino. Them four. Them four was good, man. Goodfellas is good. Goodfellas, Goodfellas is great. Yeah, them, them four was good. They were good. I like so, that. yeah, back to Con Air. I think his... <laughs> Nicholas Cage, I think he Yo, overacted. If you were a badass, you want to hear like, 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 like fucking Cameron Poe. No. Remember, remember like terrible. Remember high school? No, no. You call him Cameron Poe? Yeah, yeah. He looked just like him, man. Hilarious, man. Nah, yeah. bro. Dude. I hate it when he was like, "Why don't you put the money back in the box?" I was like, "Bro, <laughs> Dude, that is so that's corny." How he talk, that that is, is so corny to he me. I, <laughs> he I don't even care, bro. This is trash. Dave Chappelle died in that movie. Was he? Yeah, Dave Chappelle. He, he tried to go underneath. He tried to get get back on the plane, but the 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 fucking landing gear went up and crushed him. He died. Did I, I didn't even remember yeah, that part. Died, I said yeah. movie so many times. I don't remember that. Yeah, he died in that movie. Um, that movie was great. Connery was great. <laughs> nah, man. People, people don't like it, but I just... Dude, the, the, There's the, people that love it, but I... Connery was... Well, it's not one of his best, though. No, National Treasure is probably his best, honestly. In Face Off. Nah, in Face Off. Nah. Snake Eyes was amazing. Snake Eyes was good. You know, who, you know, like, um... You know who's the most, like, he had, like, an intimidating body and face, like, um... Did as, as an actor. Hell no. As an actor. Hell no. Hell no. as roles. Who? He played he play some gangster roles, but he, he played roles that he was gay, transgender. Who's that? Terry Vin, Crews? Vin Reeves. Oh, Vic Raves, Vic Raves, Vic Raves. I would say Terry Crews, too. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Terry like, Crews, yeah, Terry Crews, too. Yeah, no, he does. Terry Crews, he's like, very intimidating, but he played all these corny, funny like. roles. He's, I don't think he's intimidating. Terry, Terry Crews. Cruz? No, I don't think so. No, Vic Raves, yes, for sure. Did you see how intimidating he looked when Alonzo approached him at training day? Yeah, the yeah, black, yeah, the, yeah, I forgot. I yeah, forgot Terry Crews yeah, in that oh, movie. Approach him like that. Yo. Even they ain't fucking with Terry. Nah, nah, for real, for real. <laughs> oh no, Vic Rage. No, Terry Vic Rage is definitely. We saw, we saw him in that prison movie with Nipsey Hussle. It was a, I forgot that movie called. He was Nip, Nipsey Hussle was his son. That nigga said the most you intimidating know. line in that movie. Nigga speak when you're spoken to. Vic Rage, I confused him. I confused him. I was like, yo. I confuse Vin Rains a lot with Michael Clark Duncan. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely from yeah. from uh, Armageddon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I confuse him a lot with Vin Rains. I don't even know. Like, Vin Rains was Pulp Fiction. They all look the same. People, people, people. Big as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's that trying to say? All black people look alike. That's crazy. Yo, Come was on. Was Debo outside the, the block too when Alonzo pulled up? Huh? I could have sworn Debo was outside the two when when Alonzo pulled up. Was he? I know Terry Crews is there. I swear, I swear, Debo was there too. Bro, that, that's how you got Google. That's how you got Google. I don't know. RIP, RIP, Debo. Yeah, yeah, for real. I swear, it was, he was right next to Terry Crews, yo. Terry, I don't know. Because when 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 Ethan Hawke walked up, Terry Crews approached him along with the other dude that said when he put out the gun. Yeah. yeah. And Terry Crews, like, how was that? No, he's jacked. He's jacked. Like, I, for real. I swear, I, I saw Debo next to him. I swear, I saw Debo next. To him. Nah, that, that's how you got to Google. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. You gotta look at that. You gotta look yeah. at the scene just to watch tomorrow, the movie, just to see that. Tomorrow, I'm just gonna watch a movie. I'm about to watch Face Off, <laughs> Glory, <laughs> fucking, uh, fucking. Damn, man. Trading yeah, there? What's funny when yeah, he said. Like, he's, he's like one of them dudes. No, he does. Yeah, you look at him like, I ain't messing with that dude. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even trying. You locked up, your lungs come. Your <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who was that? It's not him. No, it's not him. It's just it's something oh, he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not him. You can't mix the two. For a minute, I was like, that's not him. He's not gonna mix the two. That's the totally different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants my food. Fuck, I'll give it to him. Whatever. <laughs> now, Vin Rave's doing that. He's an intimidating person. Like, you yeah, can just tell, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Big he dude. He's jacked. Even that, uh, even that role in Pulp Fiction, where he was like, you know, like he was hard, he's a big dude. People yeah. say that but he ended up getting raped by the the, the, the yeah, white yeah, cop. I was yeah, like, that's, oh, that's weird. The roles he playing, it's crazy, crazy. yeah. yeah. But he got it, he got it back too. I was like, that's even weirder. <laughs> so Bruce Willis saved him, but he got it back. He was like, I'm not done with him. And I was like, yeah. oh, wow, that's weird. Detective roles. I'm like, you go on the side, man. You go in the good side. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's 
<laughs> no, no, he's a good actor, though. He's, he's really good. He's he good. good. He's up there. Baby boy, you know. Yeah. Kitchen. That that random headlock he did on Tyrese. Yeah. People call it that. The, the, now that's the Draymond. <laughs> that's oh, the Draymond meme. You see that? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Bro, these days that like. Well, Mike Epps is making fun of Draymond Green. He said, well, go and see all that motherfucking boy. Draymond Green, boy. He's just like a wild animal, boy. He said, I love that nigga Draymond Green, boy. <laughs> no, Draymond, Draymond. Right that was funny. That, 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 that baby boy scene is now the Draymond meme. It's, cr- it's funny as hell. So, so Glory is your best military movie? But if you want to go military-wise, Glory hangs down. Over everything. Glory, okay. Over <sighs> everything. I like, um. Because <laughs> We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson was amazing, too. So I haven't seen. I haven't seen you know what's crazy? I haven't seen too many military movies. The military movie is probably um, it's probably uh, platoon. Like Charlie, Ooh, with Charlie, Charlie Sheen? Sheen. I heard that was. I heard it was. I heard that was good. I heard it was good. Cover like this. Lawrence Fishburne was like seventeen. Yeah, hey, Lawrence Fishburne was young. Yes, I know. I know the people with him. I don't think I've ever seen it. Because you know I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, out of all the wars. No, I don't. I don't see. I don't think I've seen many military <laughs> movies. Yeah, if you guys are going like on a list, I probably haven't seen them. You probably, you probably, it's not. It's not. It's it's army related. But it's not, they're not fighting other humans, they're fighting these machines. You ever see Battle of Los Angeles? No. Yeah. Where, where, where Aaron Eckhart, the guy who played Harvey Dent in the. Yeah, yeah, I know who that is. That movie right there. I mean, well, Michelle Rodriguez is in it. Yeah. Because she plays one of the main colonels in that movie. Amazing. I'll check that out. <laughs> I heard that's good too. That's, that's good. We Were Soldiers of Mel Gibson was amazing. And uh, there's Black one. Black Hawk Down. Was Black Hawk Down was amazing. I've heard Black Hawk Down. I think I've see, I seen yeah, it once. Um, oh, dude. On VHS. Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah, Pearl Harbor was amazing, yo. Harbor. You don't like, you don't like, you know, I, I, I swear I've never seen you seen a war movie before. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think, right? Like, I think I'm, I'm, they're not my thing. Like, it was love mixed it up. Was, it was, it was, I think it was of more course. love than anything, but no. Pearl Harbor, the story behind it was great. It was good. Plus, The Patriot was good. With Mel Gibson was good. Um, there was another one. I, there was another, I didn't see it. That was, that I saw half of it. Oh, Ryan. Saving, Saving Private Ryan. I don't think I've seen that one either. Tom Hanks, when, when uh, Matt Damon gets captured, yeah, they, this is the whole thing to go save him. Yeah, yeah. I saw half of that, mm. so I didn't finish that. But yeah, think, thinking about it, I don't think I've seen List. Schindler's so, List. I saw it was awesome. It's it's hard to watch. That's but crazy. It's awesome. It, it was awesome. I saw that in high school. Yeah. I saw it's, that in high school. It's yeah. Very hard to watch, but it's a classic. Very hard to watch. Yeah, it is classic. sad. It's sad. Yeah. Why is it very hard to watch? It's a movie. No, I know, but just the shit. But you know that that's like what happened in real life. Like that shit. That shit happened. That's why oh, for sure. that's, no, that's I why, agree. That's why Glory hits hard too. Glory, the one that shit they yeah, went through, man. just to, just to, don't they get wanted, me wrong. Dude, they wanted to fight for their country. That treated them like shit. Yeah, and they still wanted to fight for their country. Yeah, like said, like Glory hits wrong. different. You know, Glory Jews, hits Jews, they've been through a lot and yeah. all that, but you know, it's like it doesn't compare. I don't, for me personally, before you even get canceled, yeah. it doesn't compare. It doesn't compare to what the black community went through. No, the it doesn't compare. Lying. We're not a race. We just we're not a race, but. That's just nothing compared to like. I think you know it was it was horrible what happened with Jews' experience, man. Oh, like, for sure. They put them in the incinerators and well, like the Holocaust. Alive, oh, I can't even imagine like, that. Yeah, yeah, Holocaust New Britain on Broad Street. Though. They had survivors. And then yeah, this, 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 came, there's um, a couple survivors that lived in New Britain too for a minute. Oh yeah. For a minute, yeah. But I don't I don't know if they're still there though. I don't know. It was in the paper that's, for. That's a minute. I mean, that happened so long ago. I mean, I doubt anybody's yeah, actually alive, yeah, but well, still. You, you know, honestly. It's not it doesn't. It doesn't come it's, close. It's not, they're not fun topics to compare because you're both fucked up. Yeah, yeah. They're just some, like no matter what. But there's black, people out there. You know what's crazy? People out there that compare them. You can't. And I was like, bro, don't do that. You, even, you, you that's just stupid. messed up. Yeah, stupid. exactly. No matter, they're both fucked up things that shouldn't happen anyway. I mean, it just regardless of the fact, because yeah. you can sit here and argue about it for days on yeah. people's sides on it, but yeah. it's not something I want to get into because I don't personally know. Sh- I know about yeah. the history and about it and all that. I'm not black. I'm not Jewish. Well, I'm just, right. I know it's, it's just fucked up for both sides in general. Yeah. For hands down, no matter what. Yeah, I just think, you know, with that, it's just like, I think in a, the Americans got a problem with, you know, they don't know how to let go. Yeah. Like the past, that was the past, that was history. Yeah, yeah. But they don't know how to let go. Like, I believe it or not, it's like actually, shit happened like it's some of the people. 400, 400, 100 years right. ago and, and longer. And the people who came in the car, people who had nothing to fucking do they with can't it. Let that shit who had nothing go, to do man. with it. And it's mostly. This, well, they it's people who just who have nothing to do with it. Like, okay, it's over, it's over. Just let it rock, you know. But, bro, I'm gonna tell you a true story. Man. You let's do go, that, let's right? go. I love it. I love it. This is a true story right here, bro. Look, I'm gonna tell you a true story. I'm gonna right. share it. So, me and my wife, we went um, at the time we looking for houses, uh-huh. and um, 
We looked at a property in Torrington. We just looked at it. Yeah. Property in Torrington. Um, like a little house, whatever. No lie, bro. This is a true story. Uh, I was talking to the realtor. I was talking to the realtor in the back. The realtor, you know, we just talking. My wife's waiting next to the car, you know, after she the tour of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Going back up in the driveway. So my wife goes, you heard what that white person said to you? That, that said, you heard the white person said? The, the, the neighbor, you heard what the neighbor said? The, the dude, I guess, I look, I look to the left. I look to the left, the dude was like, um, the dude had a big old belly with a big old Viking beard. Yeah, like, 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 like in Torrington, he had a yeah. big old Viking beard and he came outside. <laughs> he said a and, Viking uh, beard, that's no, weird. No, 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 beard, I get you, I get he came you. outside and I said, wait, what did he say? My wife, my wife heard him clearly. Yeah, yeah. He, t- he said, honey, there's colored people looking at the house. That's like you see, uh, this is... 1945 yeah, verbiage. That's you, that's mindset, the mindset, man. That's, man. Like 19, what, that's like 1942 Yeah, verbiage. man, that's like... Yeah. Color people looking at the house. What bro, the so what you... That's terrible. That's, that's like, this dude stuck in the 60s and the 50s and shit, yep. man. Like, like, when I heard when that, you, I was like, when you, when you hear shit like that, you're like, like really? how, ignorant, like how ignorant can you be, bro? Like, oh, man, no, f- I would have took the house just because, man. <laughs> I would have ruined this fucking off, life. To piss him off. Just because. To piss him off. Man, but you know, that it's fucked up how people still do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it was just saying? like, I told him, like, like, people still talk Yeah, like people that? still do that shit. Yeah, it's dumb, bro. It's tell you. Colored people it's the ignorance, bro. It's the ignorance. It's the ignorance, man. You want a lot of ignorant people out there, bro. A lot of ignorant people. No matter what, you so there's something as simple as buying a fucking house. Like, yeah. are you gonna be ignorant like that? It's just it's, well, the thing is, some people look at it's um, legit sad. Some people, some people put people in, in categories as like skin color or racial groups. They they, they make it, they have that that ignorant mentality that they're all the same. Like, if that makes sense. No, 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 no. So you know, just like just like what's happening um, what's in, in uh, Israel right now. Yeah, Israel, Palestine, Gaza, yeah. And Jews, <laughs> They've been fighting for that holy land for years, and it's like it's it don't it's make, never, it's it's never, it's never gonna let up. It don't no, it's not. It's never nah. gonna let up. And human beings, we, we, you know, we've been killing each other like for religion purposes, skin color. Religion, hundreds of years, religion. hundreds of years. It's, it's, it's petty. A lot of it, like, yeah. exactly. A lot That's of a perfect word. A lot of it's just for petty shit, petty. for petty, petty shit. Just because you don't like the way this person looked at you. No, you're a Muslim. You yeah, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. Muslim, so you gotta have every album. If you're not yeah. Muslim, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's messed up, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> right now, the world crazy. we live in is crazy, it's man. 20, it's, yeah, it's insane. It's, it's pretty much 2024, man. It's t- everybody. Just, who the fuck cares? Yeah, like, leave, the, leave that shit in the past. Why the fuck do you care so much because somebody's black? Why the fuck do you care about if somebody is a Muslim or whatever? Like, are they bothering you? That's the shit yeah. I'm trying to say. Like, leave it alone. Like, the people who push for a problem because you're certain this and you're certain that, you're just angry people, bro. Just yeah. angry people. Crazy. I mean, you, you, gotta, you allow that to control your life. You're just miserable. You're just we miserable. Got, we got so much right now going on with the school shootings and shit. Kids having guns, killing other kids. That's more. That's more of a problem than the, just racism shit, man. That you want that whole Newtown shit. That was the saddest shit I ever heard. Yeah, I think about, about it, man. in America. I think it was all business. Slavery is all. It was just business. That's what it was. Money, 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 money. It was all business. But like I said, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk on a subject I, 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 I don't well, know I just about. Feel but like you got them old school people that they feel like who still think like that. That shit's like. You got people. No, I'm gonna tell you a true, yeah. another true story, bro. I'm gonna tell you another true story. I'm gonna share. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. These are true stories, man. Like so, when I bought my house. So shame on like, those I'm neighbors. Moving in my own house, so I had moving gear around, moving clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the neighbor came. The, the dude came outside. The, the the guy came outside. The person, my, na- my next door neighbor, he came outside. He was really nosy, and he was like, "Hey, how you doing? Oh, who's the owner of the house?" And the wife was like, "Oh, oh, he is over there." You know what he said to me? You know what he said to my wife? I don't know. Oh, I thought he was the mover. Oh, that's you know, that's just, crazy. Just stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unnecessary. It's like, you know, to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unnecessary. Dude, I would have I started blasting music in the parking lot. Oh, like, bro. Yo, See, I'm a, you know what? Bro, yo, I'm a, bro, I'm a boy, you want to do food. that, but for them, for those ignorant people, that's feeding into it. So, like, See, I knew they would do that. I knew they would do this. I hate so that shit, like, man. Very, I just hate so that so shit. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Simple minded. Simple minded, for sure. You see someone like black, like, how the hell you pull this shit? Yeah. How the hell you got this? You got that. Yeah, that's terrible. I hate because, you know I mean? because I hate they that deserve shit. it and you fucking don't. That's the type of shit that's. You know, they, they're probably giving that. They probably didn't work for it. 
We work for our shit. We earn our shit. But you know what? A lot of people are gifted Who stuff, and they, 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 they think it, they're better. In his mind, maybe. I love my neighbor maybe, too, but no, that's what I'm saying. I'm the only black person in my street. Maybe, your, maybe your house costs more than his he got sold to. Think about it. Could that. Be, yeah, it could be that. Maybe, maybe his value is going up now because you're in the neighborhood. You, you know, know what? Fuck I don't look at that stuff. I just try to enjoy my life. And I try of course. To, try exactly. To nobody, wants, nobody wants to wake up like that. I'm not looking at that stuff, but it's always, you know, I, I just feel it's like. It's always in the back of your mind, though. It's just like, why are yeah. you going to say something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. There's no need for that. That's my wife said. You can said, just Yo. come out and say, how you doing? Oh, well, I thought neighborhood. he was a mover. Like, damn, you all he, Yeah, but Honestly, all he had to do was throw you a beer so I went to the neighborhood and say, what up? Yeah. And you would have called the quiz. Bring me a freaking pie, bro. Bring me a fucking apple pie. Bring me a fucking apple pie that you and your wife come and you bring it to me and I fucking. Yeah, welcome to it. It is 2023. Bring me a damn pie, bro. Even if, if you don't got a pie, bring me a beer. Or a little. Or I'd be like, hey, you did a hand or something. Well, you know what? I'm a little. This is another true story. Like, I don't. They probably think that I'm doing something illegal. Of course. Oh, no, of course. They probably think that because. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? A lot of that is the mainstream media hear, that pushes hear, that. Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't buy nobody. Me and my wife, we go to work. We come back home. We don't buy nobody. We go to work. We come back home. The, the, the lady across the street, she's retired. They got a little small little house. They're retired. Yep. Dude next door, he, he you know, his house is paid off. Dude on the left, he, he got two kids, single. He, he's divorced. Yeah. But. You know, it's just like one time, you know, I was talking to my neighbor and I was just like, yeah, you know, just talking about the yard work and stuff and everything. And I'm talking about that I got to do some maintenance in the car and everything. So he's looking at, he's looking at me and mind, mind you, you know, we got, I'll be honest, I got three cars. Yeah. I got three cars. You know, we got, in total, we got four cars. Uh-huh. We got four cars in the driveway. Yeah. He, he goes, oh, uh, what do you, what do you do? Uh, what do you buy cars and sell them? I'm like, it's just like, yeah, yeah. it's like si- trying to size me up. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to figure something. out how you got that. Like trying to figure out something. how you got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yo, I'll be like, I'm like, <laughs> he might as well have been like, yo, you sell drugs, bro. Like, like yeah, he might as well came out and say that shit. Like, yo, you want you want a chop shop, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't don't, don't beat around the bush, bro. Across the street, she's retired, and my my wife cousin, she just bought an Acura RDX. Yeah. She was like, I'm parked the car here. I'm going. I'm gonna. Um, I gotta. I'm getting picked up, so she, we, let, we let her stay in the parking lot. Yeah. So she stayed. She, she had her car in our driveway. So we got five cars in the driveway. Uh-huh. So the next day in the morning, my wife's getting ready to go in the car. The white lady comes outside and goes, "What do y'all, y'all bought another car?" <laughs> But, it's none of your business, so lady. It's like, it's, it's, why the like, fuck is it bothering you but, so much? That's what I'm gonna get. Yeah, it's just like, but it's why like, does it bother you? Like, see, like, you know, I guess they, they're not used to seeing stuff like that. You should have just told her, yo, I sell drugs. You, said, <laughs> you, you just you just told her, yo, and maybe she would have yeah, she probably been scared as hell. Yeah, but thing, maybe she would appreciate it. No, oh, I thought so. I thought you. I thought you. She would probably. I thought you sold drugs. I knew I was right. I thought you did. She see me going Come to work. I don't bother nobody. It's stupid. There's I no reason for that, I can't that, sell bro. drugs with no, with no cars going in and out of my house. God <laughs> yeah. forbid I got more than two cars. <laughs> like, traffic on, going in my house. You know, but it's just like, you know, just, what I'm trying, going back to that, it's just like, they, you know, like, sometimes, I guess sometimes they feel like, I don't, we don't, we don't you're deserve it. You're deserving. You don't deserve you it. You grinded for where and you're at. And they are entitled. Like, like, you, and your wife, you and your wife got married. Yeah, no, there's a lot of entitled people out there. You and your wife got married. You got the house. You live in where you live in. Nice neighborhood. You don't expect shit like that, but I'm you a simple get, guy. You still get shit like that. I you know consider myself an average Joe. I'm a simple guy. I do what I got to do. That's, that's simple it. That's all. You're an average dude. You're not. You just. You know. You know a fucking minute. You, you, you want to chill, go home, and have a good time. You, you're invested. But it's just like it's just like they like you know they looking they looking like us like you know we doing something. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, you know, it ain't weird, bro. Because I, 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 I can I see. I can see. Is, I can see it happening. Still. We don't both have that. Fuck you know? them. You can kiss your ass all I care, bro. Yeah, we don't no, You know what? Next time I have a block party. I'm just bang some ice cream or some <laughs> shit. And invite them all over. Be, 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 be where they want you to be. You know, for one day, see what happens. Yeah, but you know me. I always, this is a true story of me, man. I, I got tons of friends, man. Spanish, yeah. Laos, Cambodian. Buta. Uh, Shout out Buta. Uh, Shout out Buta. African, <laughs> Shout out Buta. South African, Muslim, <laughs> Muslim, Bosnian, Italian. I got all types of friends. And I never look at nobody. Different. You know what I mean? Yo, you know what? Invite us all over for a cookout. See what happens. <laughs> I don't care. All this is you want for a cookout. You're my friend. You're my friend. It's just it's exactly red, purple, yellow, yeah. and green. Exactly. 
You're right. Some people, some people are just ignorant, bro. It's just, it's, it's sad to say as it's 2024, people are still ignorant, bro, about dumb shit like that. I mean, yeah. I guess it, it's never gonna change. Everything it's never gonna change, but it is what it is. <laughs> but, but when you got people like you who handle it the right way, who like you brush it off. Well, you got other people who retaliate the dumb way. Like, okay, you know this there person. Is, there ignorant. is no. Uh, well, you know this person's ignorant. Why would you go? Why would you beat him up? Like in front of yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no this point. Yeah, you know they're ignorant. You know they're gonna be like, "This is what it is." What it is. You just leave but, it. Leave it alone. Yeah, but, it's, 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 yeah. I guess some people. Just, what do you do, Kyle? It's simple-minded. <laughs> yeah, come on. What do you do, Kyle? Like, you do, Kyle? You're not drunk, Kyle. I'm just no, kidding. No, I'm just no, fucking no, around. No, no, no. That's me being stupid, everybody. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm no, I've known Kawa for for years, bro. I'm just a brother. My mom exactly. That's all we do. You're a brother with a model on your head. Yeah, for real. Drinks in Mexico. Yeah, no, but the model is fire. Model is fire. It's good. It's a good beer. But um, it's a good beer. So anyway, man, yeah. screw those people. Yeah, black neighbors black are trash and sometimes. And, and yeah, you just it, no, don't bother me. Don't bother me. It's just like you know, it's the comments. It's the comments. Yeah, yeah, for real. Back in the days. Yeah, yeah. Those, 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 what do you call it? Subliminal shots? You gotta, you gotta, yeah, subliminal. You, you, you live uh, in a dead end in Bristol, right? Huh? You say you live in a dead end in Bristol? No, I don't live in Bristol. I live in uh, uh, Terryville. Terryville, Terryville, Terry, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. A, a dead end spot, right? You said a dead end? A roundabout? It's, it's not. Yeah, it's kind of like a dead end. You know, I'm the last street. Yeah. The last. Oh, okay. um, I'm, I'm in the woods. I'm not gonna lie, man. I always want to live on a fucking roundabout. I don't even know why. But you know, you get to a cul de sac. You know, where the houses, your houses all around. You oh, yeah, cul de sac, for sure. It's, it's called a cul de sac. I always want to live on a roundabout. I don't even know why. It's just it's something about it. It's like, a cul de sac. Like, oh, I'm trying to help you. A roundabout. I'm trying to, uh, it's a cul de sac. Yeah, it's, it's a big round fucking street. <laughs> it's a cul de sac. It's called the cul de sac, the actual word. Cold but sack. I would love to because, you know, the kids could, you know, drive bikes around. Yeah. You don't worry about yeah. traffic in and out. It'd be awesome. Yeah, it's quiet, man. You know, and like I said, man, I lived in Baltimore. Britain. I live, I lived in some inner cities, and like you know, what I mean, it's, it's a different, it's a night and day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh, a big no. difference. Big well, difference. Well, me and Ed, well, day, yeah, no. Me and I grew up in Hartford, so we know. Right. Hartford, you know, Brand, yeah. Stuff, Hartford, like, Brand. It's about half and half. Like people tell me, why you living out there? You're looking like I'm crazy. Or, but it's just like, yo, you gotta understand, man. Like I used to live in you know, inner cities, and I worked yeah. hard. I had yeah. thing. I got my car stolen. I got my dirt bike, my bike stolen. Yeah. All types of stuff, and like, you know, for me. I'm used to inner city, you know, but like, if I want to get my peace and quiet, I can go home and get my peace and quiet. Yeah. That's what we all want. The older you get, that's all you, that's all you, that's all you want. Peace is, you don't yeah. want oh, peace is luxury. Yeah. Oh, it is. Peace, it is. You, know, I mean, you can get, peace is luxury, bro. I don't care dealing with a woman or whatever. Peace is like the key for life. It's, un- it's underrated. It really is so underrated, it's, bro. It's, it's underrated. People got mental illness. It's a lot of, they don't got no peace. Nope. Eating, going through a lot. Who said? Who, you know who you sound like? Mike Tyson. Well, he said that the twelve years, she's, the, the the couple years he spent in prison were the best years of his life because he said he had nothing but peace. Yeah, nobody's. You, you just living. You just living. That you Tyson eating. You living. You sleeping. That's it. That's, Mike that's, Tyson said that he he said the, the best, best time ever. I think about Mike Tyson going out. He got to go to the store. Yeah, I think he had. He sent somebody out there because. Yeah. Every day, oh, bodyguard, signature, let me get this, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got all these people, you know, so, yeah, pieces, man, pieces. Like, it's very underappreciated, it's underrated, it's great when you have it, just chill. Go to work, do your thing, just, come just home, and just be with your family, that's it. That's what it's all about. It's life in general. You need, you need, you know, I remember, like, back when I was younger, man, like, I remember, like, after doing, like, Five days uh, working and going to school. You want to, like, you're so hyped up to go to the clubs. Oh, Saturday, oh Friday, for Friday, sure, Saturday, bro. Saturday. For sure. That's the young age. Yeah, the fresh cut. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you're a different person yeah. when you get a fresh cut, yeah. though. Yeah. You're a different guy. You get a fresh yeah. cut, you're different. <laughs> yeah, for real. Remember that dude, Alvin Green? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Shout out Alvin. I know Alvin yeah. Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the days, though, but he was like, yo, he's just like. He's got yeah, my boy. He's got the, the big yeah, bowl right there on the side of his face. Yeah, yeah. So simple minded, but it was just like for him, it was just like the weakness was everything. He was spending his whole check. He got a big wire cat in the apron, the fat backwards. Oh, like, bro, no. Cool, he spent his whole check. <coughs> yeah, got a new mixtape. Put, put the chicken grease, chicken grease in the mixtape. <laughs> put it in your car. Yeah, but know, see, that, that's the thing. Like Alpine deck, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> the <laughs> thing when we're. Yeah, I'm trying to get a pop. Yeah. going to the club. Going, <laughs> like, those was like the back of the day. Oh, for man. sure. I've. Get out the house. 
We've got a friend who will remain nameless that used to spend their paychecks at the strip club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At the yeah. strip club. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to spend my dough on this girl so who's coming to the strip club. I was like, we get the days off, Try to think who it is, though. No, nah, don't, <laughs> nah, don't say it. No, no. Try to the name of the raps. We know who it is. We'll talk off air, but I still Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Now it's like, we older now, and it's just like, I don't got to energy yeah. You want to stay home and turn the team, turn the Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put, yeah play some Fortnite. video games, bro, play some video games. Fortnite. That's your piece. Watching a fight now, watching people get chins. Because, yep. because oh, you know yeah. now, keeping that $400 in your pocket rather than spending it on something you exactly. in the morning. Watching the Lakers up yeah. at halftime, 65-60 on the Pacers in this, yeah. in this championship tournament game. Yeah, it's just like, back in the days, it was just like, you know, I think as as men, we go through phases, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. Oh, the young one? Oh, you want to spend. You want to spend yeah, and go out. You want to look yeah. fly. Wearing sneakers. It's all about the women, wearing yeah. Wearing this, wearing that, trying to get the shit go. Yeah. Happy yeah. weekend was like, I need a new dress. You want to yeah. impress, yeah. you want to impress the next person. <laughs> Not even the next man, but you want to impress the next chick. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I first got my car, man. Like, every wow. weekend I had a guy that I was out, man. Anyway, the thing is, it wasn't even to, it was just to drive around, too. It wasn't Girl, even to crazy. Nothing, it wasn't even to nothing to say it was either... Pulling up at Chesney Park, watching dudes play ball, or just doing something. Just it didn't matter what you was doing because that's the way New Britain was, man. Like, New Britain, yeah, was like that, no matter where you. As was a at. young guy growing up, you just want to imp- not impress, but you just want to be like, I'm doing this. Yeah. It's, it's like status almost. It's something like status. Because I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm going see, to the bar. I'm going see, to this. Then you had to go out to be seen. Now you go on Facebook. Oh, I'm at the crib, or I'm at here, and people would think, Oh, what's Johnny doing today? Just going. For- Go on social media, you know exactly what he's doing. Exactly. Yeah, now yeah. you had now then you had to go out to be seen. Nobody knew you had that. Nobody yeah. knew you had this. Nobody knew you were over here sure. because they had to be out to go see you. Yeah. Now they know where everybody's at because they just going. They know where everybody got. They know they where know everybody where lives. Johnny yeah. just bought a house. Uh, he's on TikTok. He's put on TikTok. Yeah. Johnny yeah. got new sneakers. He got a new haircut. He's on TikTok. Like yeah, yeah. You, you, you go out to the oh, cause you saw kind one. Oh, that's a fresh cut. You know, that should look fly. Yeah. Back in the day, I didn't know that. Yeah, I had to see you to know that you got a fresh cut. Exactly. You got some new Jordans. Now you got to like, see you per- yeah. Yeah. physically in the flesh to know like yeah, okay. Some people like the thing about social media now is just like they give you, um, they it's almost like a, uh, a false perception of some, oh, yeah, of some people's and, lives, and, yeah, for sure. Um, exactly. IG, Facebook, they always everybody on IG is rich, yeah, yeah, like everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody wants that, 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 everybody wants because well, half those time. guys on Instagram have to work a nine to five, because they're not getting paid unless you got followers. You got to get over a certain amount of followers mm. to get paid. I know for TikTok, what well, certain amount of views? Bro, certain amount t- of views. If you have over ten million followers on TikTok, TikTok automatically sends you twenty grand a month flat because they're giving you a job. So you got to consistently put out <laughs> how many videos a month and how many a day. You gotta keep I'm trying it. to get there. You so if you listen to this right now, let's go. Over, Share it. Keep it over 10 minutes. Share it. Keep it over 10 million. <laughs> and they send you 20 grand a month just for doing content that you enjoy. That's why everybody's always trying to make it big. Everybody got a phone. Everybody trying to do this. Everybody trying, yeah, to, do everybody trying to go viral. That's the thing. Everybody trying to everybody go viral. Everybody's trying yeah, to go viral yeah. because now it pays to be funny. It pays to just talk. Yeah. It pays to just stay home and just stream your 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 while well, you're playing Fortnite. It pays yeah. to just sit at home and not get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? They said that dude, that rapper from uh, Louisiana, uh, was it? NBA Young Boy, yeah, he gets like two million dollars a year off YouTube. Yep, just YouTube. Oh my God, you, you know how much? That's Eminem, insane, man. You know I, I, much, I, I want to get there. I'm not, I'm not even hating. Like that's awesome. Eminem, yo, know, and I saw that's story. awesome. I saw the story. Not on, the kids part. That's too much. I saw the, I saw the, the money story on the Fox. Yeah, something. <laughs> yeah, the money's wild. You know how much the check Spotify sent Eminem for being the most streamed artist on fucking Spotify? What is it? Guess how much this check was for? Five hundred k. What? Low? No, that's way too low. Three mil? I know the exact number. $238 million check for being the most streamed wow. artist on Spotify. $238 mil. $238 million. I can, oh, my I can, God. I can, I can look this up on my phone and send it to you. $238 right. million for people clicking on your shit and listening to your music. That's yeah, he crazy. Came out of the box recently with somebody. Yeah, uh, for uh, Terrence Crawford. Yeah. No, was it Terrence? Yeah, it was Terrence Crawford. I thought it was for the other guy. Who? Now it's Terrence. Yeah. Eminem. Yeah. No, he came out uh, intro. Oh, intro. Okay. He was rapping. What was he, he rapping? I forgot he what song he was rapping. Too, at one point. He, that was Kodo. Did he? Was, he came out with somebody else. I know he did. Now, Kodo usually comes out with somebody. He came out with somebody before. I know, I know it wasn't just. No, I know. I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. I've seen it. Mm. But that's money, too. 
It's just, some, the, the boxers come out to you, bro, I'm getting three million for this fight. I'll give you 500K just to do my just intro. Just walk me out. Just to walk just me out, bro. Hell you know, yeah, I'll do you, it. Well, those you get the big names. You get like M, you get like nine, Yeah, 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 for real. To you walk you out. You don't get you're right with that. Like, yeah. It's like, like you walking out to yeah. Little Dirk. Like, you don't going to do that. Yeah. No, no, actually, some people might. That's what's hot right That's now. That's what I'm saying. You want to do what's hot at the moment, even though you don't like it. Right. If Little Dirk want to come on this podcast, bro, let's go. No, the the sure. amount of views, bro. Little Dirk, what's, what's good? Come on. <laughs> I would love it. We're touring ticket We got empty bottles of Tito's and trophies and shit. Coming. Yo, thanks. Through, bro. Well, I always got liquor on deck, bro. <laughs> it's, a pool table. Nah. it's a pool table. It's not, it's not legit size, but it's a pool table. This shit fire, it's bro. Don't be hating. Don't be hating on the pool table. <laughs> we got a dartboard. Come through, Little Dirk. That's what's up. It's just, it's the amount of views you're going to get. It's the amount of hits. So he brings out M. He might not even like Eminem music. Who knows? It's just the fact, you come it's out the fact you're coming out with M. People are going to hit his music. And he's going to he's gonna blow up. People are going to like Terrence Crawford more. He's going to get more hits on YouTube for his boxing videos or whatever but the case is. It's, just like it's all of, about money. Like I once said, when you, when you, when you, and when Friday night came, and you, you, went to, you went to cast that check, you were a whole different person with money in your pocket. You, get a, you get a haircut. You spent 20 everybody, bucks on a haircut. You a different man. Everybody was an Abner's blind, playing white tees. No, it's a the big fact. With the tees on that shit. <laughs> with the socks, you definitely pair of sneakers. With some different. uptowns, and you yeah. good. So, 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 guys, today I went, uh, I went to my uh, one of my buddy's uh, daughter's birthday party in Orange, Connecticut. All right. For two hours, you know, show some love to his daughter. Of course, of course. And uh, I was like, I told my wife, I said, hey, we live in New Haven. I said, let's go get some pizza, some good pizza. What? Word. Don't tell, said, don't tell said, me you hit up Sally, bro. Said, so, Did so you do the called, modern? So I called modern. Couldn't get them on the phone. I, I bet you could Calling busy, 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 busy. Damn. So then. Bro, if you, if you would have came, I would have hugged, if I would have hugged you, if you would have came through with some otters. We're going to Sally's. I thought, wait, we're going to Sally's. My wife, she's on, you know, she's not Skeptical. under the weather. Skeptical. She's trying to get back home. She's not used to, like, going yeah. to these places and all that. She's yeah. Back yeah. Home. yeah. So, I call on Sally's. They ain't pick up. Hung up. I'm like, I'm, all right, I'm 10 minutes away. I'm going to drive over there. I drive over there. Yo, tell you, God, you know, God. because you know why? Hold on, hold on. Did you end up getting some pizza? Did you get a pizza? So, long story short, we drove by. Asked, this is Yo, right. tell you, son. This is crazy. I said, no, I didn't go. I, I, I didn't go. So, we went, we ended up going to Grana Pizza. That's in North Haven. They North got Haven. good pizza, too. North Haven pizza. That sounds familiar. That place sounds familiar. Yeah, when honestly. I got married, um, you know, a little rehearsal. Yeah. That pizza, they, they got the, the brick ovens, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that stuff? We went over there. The lion, the lion was there with no lion. You know, so, yeah, yeah. So, you know why? It's not it's, 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 Because well, we're talking about good pizza. Like, yeah. You know? Yo, poor boy yeah, stopped. They poor boy stopped doing the pizza reviews for a year and a half. Now that he started picking it up again, these places are going back. They're getting popping again, you know? God damn it. <laughs> Yo, the, the, and I want to try it, but I'm not I, waiting two hours for pizza. One, he did a review. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> he, Hell no. He did a review in Philadelphia not about a couple months back. One guy said, dude, he said, dude, I've been waiting for you for five years. Where have you been? They had a shirt made with his name on it, the Pizza King. They yeah. pulled his face on it. He said he was in it. He, treated, he was treated like... Like you know what's crazy? He went in there, he said, you treated like the President of the United States. <laughs> well, it was ridiculous, he said. He said, he said dude, he's got to fucking jerk on my dick off over here. Like, like, the shit is, he's so real when he talks. All right, I love that dude, yo. I love that dude. No, he's, um, he's good. No, I but, just, it, I mean, it's because the amount of followers he has. Bro, that's why. You know why? Cause he's, and I'm not even hating. It's just crazy. Is, he's funny. And the thing is, he shows love to local shops. Well, and I appreciate it. That's like, awesome. Right now, if you were to call him, like, yo, this place is torn to the dang it. He t- he reads his comments. And he goes to these places. Yeah, and he so, yeah, he'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. And he shows them love, and he'll tell them straight up, trash, trash. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the, I've seen the punch. He went to a uh, spot in New Jersey, and uh, this little, this little small spot in New Jersey. He went to a small spot in New Jersey, and I gotta show you a clip. Yeah, yeah. he be giving just slices of pizza, yo. Yeah. What's his, what was he say? It's funny. This is New Jersey. She was walking. And it's her bystander. What was she say? Watch this. Watch this. Watch what I hit. Watch. 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, and I bet you that shop has got Yo, so much love because oh, of that scene. Because of that scene, yeah. Because of that video. Pizza, yeah. It just, it just, it just, it just, it hit the, the, the right spot. hit the right so, spot. So, 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 so much shit like that. That place has probably made so much money in the past. Oh, my God, yeah. They probably, probably sold a lot of stuff because they had so much stuff so, to make. You, 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 you you know, he get that out of the Right. Yo, right, right, see that's right. the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that the like the only pizza? Is that the pizza? What the, the like you just know? brick oven cheese pizza? Brick oven cheese. It's just, it's how you tell. Cause he's going by original, original Italian. Yeah. I like, said the most. It's basic, just cheese. Just cheese. Just cheese. It's but that just, doesn't. He said it has to be no flop. Straight yeah. brick oven. He, he's giving some good scores and stuff with a flop. No, I'm curious. No, yeah. Good. The thing is, yeah, yeah. the highest score he's ever given. What's fucking modern to Sally's? Nine point three each. Yeah. That's the highest he's given. Yeah, good. He gave he gave Frank Pepe's the nine point one, so shit like that. And then there's one place out in Baltimore that he gave it like an eight point eight. But the like, these places were just the pizza looked like he likes I mean, you know he know he likes bar pizza, places that don't make pizza but they make it anyway. Yeah, like that, bar right. pizza. Yeah, yeah, no. And it's just he said he likes it crispy. Cause he'll bite the end and he'll bite the the crust. Yeah, the, the crust. crust. Yeah, for sure. But, yo, he's gonna do a piece of thing. I'm gonna bring my buddy out. You know what? Bro, that'd be fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll record it. Yo, I'll be fire. You know, yeah. yo, we should just buy five different pieces, five different places, and just try them all. Just, Bro, record it. Oh, all. good. I'm down for it. Yo, but you know what? That'd be awesome. If we do that, we would have to grab at least a small for Pepe, Sally's, and Modern. At least we have to. Because if we tag them in that shit. And, and tag porno in it? Can you, imagine? you never know. Can you imagine? Like, Bro, you never know. We tell them, yo, porno, we agree with you how Sally's and New Haven's and Pizza Capital and all that shit. And we're just down here eating the video of pizza and shit. Shit can just... And you imagine? If you guys... He comes to Connecticut and he takes him a podcast and just... We're just eating pizza. He he shots us out in his... Shout out to EJ Pocket. They, they told me I was one of the greatest do, do the pizza do the pizza reviews and all that. I like going against the grain, so I might like Bro. shit on his review of the pizza. It has to blow me away. But he just like, I, I don't geez. know, man. He does It's just do... cheap. That's just crazy to me. But that's what because I'm things evolve. The original is not always the best. Right? But the thing things is, evolve. He's Pepperoni fair. could be the best. He's fair. He doesn't no, give he out, is. He doesn't give out eights rarely, man. Well, if you get into an eight with him. It's got to be like really good. He gets out 7.5, 7.6s. These no, he does, are, yes. These restaurants are taking him like, he gets out at 7.3. She hugged him, like, loved it. Yeah, that, that's not <laughs> bad, though. A 7.3 out of 10 is really good. Yeah. It's really cheese, good. Though, that's what I'm saying. It's just cheese. I got to. He's, he's just. I a, personally. He's judged a couple, um, what was the other one called? The margaritas? He's judged a couple of margaritas. I see, I see. I think that's one of those. He actually, it's one person that actually gave him a tomato pie. It was just sauce and bread, mm. and he loved that shit. It was like an eight point four. Really? And it was just sauce and. That's bread. a high score, man. Eight point four is a high I was score. Like hard, like I love when he, the, the, his guy Frankie behind the camera. They had yeah. High for the. Uh, um, all right, Frankie. Like the, even Frankie got famous over that shit. The guy, the camera guy. Oh really? His shirts got famous. He got promoted to somewhere else in Barstool. Got promoted from doing that shit with Portnoy. Got promoted to do something else in Barstool. Yo, Barstool's doing yeah, big stuff, man. They man. they um. Uh, not recently. Almost a year ago, they brought on uh, Wallow and Gilly for their podcast. Yo, Big money. Porno is just the, way the, and this the whole bar store is awesome, man. I mean, if did. you want to pick up another podcast, we right here. I'm just saying. I'm just yo, saying. He, he, he did one. He did We're not there yet, but we'll get there. With his shirt off. You know. Porno did one with his shirt off. He said, it's hot as dick. I'm going to eat this fucking pizza. Like, <laughs> I'm going to eat this fucking pizza. Like, this pizza is going to blow my fucking bottom, I gotta, off off. Like, He's funny as hell, bro. Like, However, people that know me best know I like to go against the grain. Mm-hmm. I like to play devil's advocate. Not I like to challenge him. what not you say. Him. That's me personally. I'm That's how I am. And the shit, like, he's like that. Exactly. He's like that too. You know, dude, he's he's nitty. I have to check. I, for me, for myself, for me to believe that he's the pizza king and he knows what he's talking about, nobody, I got to try it. Nobody has argued with him yet. Nobody I, has argued with him yet. Me personally, it's I have hard, to try bro. it. Like, dude, he knows I had to see man. what Sally tastes like. I had to see what Modern tastes like. I had yeah, to see yeah, what Pepe okay, tastes so like. I'm going to try and go over today. Like, I actually I, drove. I told my wife, I said, since we in Orange and in New Haven, 
Yo, and, <laughs> I, and, I, and, I, and I, like I told you, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try myself next I weekend. Only, I only had a, I only had a slice of modern meat lovers. I only had a slice. Yeah, and that was I never had salads or Pepe. I thought Pepe said Mohegan Sun, but not Pepe. So did I. Yes, yeah, so, but not, and I heard, Pepe said Mohegan was like totally not good. Different. I heard it's totally was it good? Yeah, compared to Mohegan, but I had a slice of modern meat lovers pizza that was banging. But I never had your cheese, or I even have a sandwich for that matter. Banana pizza is good. Bro. See, now, like, yeah, his videos are making me want to just try cheese. I'm a special kind of guy. That's, I like I like my mushrooms. I like my sausage. That's I like my peppers, right. onions. I, I, I love that. Is, it has to be just cheese. cheese. I couldn't get her to get pepperoni. Not even extra cheese. It's just... I mean, ah, just, that's so like rough, cheese, man. I do cheese. I, I like... I gotta put the crisp peppers on it. Oh, at least. Bro. Yeah, we gotta have something I gotta, else. I gotta, I gotta like, put the crisp peppers on it. Or some parmesan. Something, bro. No matter bro. where we go. No matter where <laughs> we go. Yo, yeah, exactly, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I, could get, I could get a special in a, in a meat lover's and one's like, just cheese, please. I'm like... Oh my god! Oh bro. god! Like, it, it, like, this is so boring. The, the way things are getting like expensive, it's like a waste of money just to get cheese, bro. Just I, like, I put some peppers, and onions on it. Just put some pepperoni, some sausage, some, some, crushed red some sausage, mushroom, some something. <laughs> See me, I, I want to judge it by their special. Because nah, I love pizza, special pizza. One pizza that he went to, I forgot where it was, had garlic parmesan, garlic parmesan aioli over the top of the cheese pizza, and it was dripping oil. Yeah. I didn't like it because it was too, it was too greasy. Mm. No, I, I could agree. See, I could agree with much. that. Too they, greasy is, is annoying. Can you imagine the flavor on that motherfucker, though? It probably was good. The Parmesan aioli with the But too, too much oil is annoying, bro, because you, you just, like, you, you're he, slurping that's it. Why he said oh, like, that's why but he, you're slurping yeah, it. Yeah, that's why he said New York is not the yeah, pizza yeah, capital. Yeah, it's not, yeah. He said, because in New York, you can tip it over, and you just drip nothing but grease. Nothing but grease, yeah. He said these that pizza was supposed to be like that. you got garlic on it, your breath going to be kicking like a chocolate. Oh, for real, for real. For days. The places you would thought that you, like, Chicago, New York, were for pizza? Yeah. Not even in the top ten. Really? Not even in the top ten, believe it or not. Shout out CT for having at least, what, four out of the top ten? Five? No, the final, was it four? four no, it's got to be four. Modern, I think it's Sally's, four. Sally's, Pepe's, and there was one more. The one, no, the one in Maryland. The one that was sort of Maryland you were talking about. Go around with it. That one. Four, four yeah. Four out of the top ten is four amazing. Four out of the top ten. Amazing. That's amazing. That good, too. The old man, yeah. The old man on delivery, you got to go yeah. over yeah. yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Well, you don't deliver pizza, you just got to go get it? Yeah. Insane. No, that, 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 you know it's good right there. Like, bro, we, we're spending too much time matter. making this stuff. I don't think Modern or Sally delivers neither. They, they don't. don't deliver. Lines out the I don't even think Pepe's you, you spend You spend too much making it, <laughs> and you spend too much time making it and getting ready for people, you can't. You don't have time to deliver. <laughs> you don't. So, try. again, bro, you guys to make me, next weekend, I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try next weekend. Yeah, go you got to, you got to. Leave the house at seven to get to yeah, modern. Yeah, go take like, the family out there and just wait in line and go sit down. And have damn. Food. If you get there early enough, who knows? You might be the first dude there, but you gotta get there early. This is see, I'm not an early person on the weekend, especially. Italian pizza, you know. I gotta, I, man, I gotta give it a shot. I do gotta give it a shot. Again, it's just plain cheese, so I might order a small cheese to see what it's about. Then anyway, like a large, yeah, you know, order special. Order, order another thing, like a special. Then judge it like that. And then the shit is though. I don't know how early you got to go there because around that area, there's a lot of businesses that just go straight there just for lunch. Yeah. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I know for a fact, Pepe's always at 12. And I think, I don't know if it was a while ago, so it could be different. But I'm probably silent at probably 11 o'clock. Yeah. They got one in West Hartford, too, though. One in West Hartford. Oh, they they uh, do. Pepe. It's right on, it's right on uh, Frank 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 South Main Street. No, no, Brent Ave. You're, you're right. The, 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 it's off of South Main Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that just open? All the way straight down. No, it's been open for a while. You can go all the way straight down. <clears throat> I don't know. I've never been there. It's right before the old theater and uh, the CVS on the corner. Yes. Is that, is that what about by that furniture place, the Puritan furniture? Before that, that, before that, on the left side. Oh, right, right, where that bar is in the corner? Oh, before way that. before that. Way before that, damn. So when you're at CVS at that light, when you go left or we'll take a right and go down the pier? It's before that. Before that? Yeah. Yep. Before uh, Trump Brook Ave. Trump Brook Ave. Yeah, before that. The Hungry Crab? Yeah, yeah. Over there. Right it's right there. Plaza, I haven't right heard nothing about that Pepe. Maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe yeah, it's not. It might be. It might be good. I, I, I want to try the originals. Me personally, I want to try the originals. Try the ones where he ranked them from, you know, because everybody wants to try them. Well, if it's a franchise, it's probably the same ingredients. Could be. I don't know. It could be because, I, I don't know. Good because man. the one I tried at the casino, mm-hmm. so different. I wasn't amazed by it. And I got a cheese. Mm. I got a cheese. I was like, what's the big deal about this? And I was like, I was, I was, be- I was, you know, gambling. You do my, my yeah. slots. Yeah. A couple of black, uh, roulette. And 
they give you free drinks when you bet. So I was, you know, feeling good. Feeling good. I was drunk. Feeling good. So I expected the pizza to be even more amazing because I was drinking. Mm. And even then, because you know when you're drinking, food tastes ten times better. Maybe you got their own oh, sure. Maybe it, it could be that. Food. So I got the, the plain cheese and I got something else. And I wasn't, like, blown away. I was like, what is this? This, this is, is just average time. pizza. This is, this is the second time from what Kawan was saying. We brought up this pizza shit. No, we got to, bro. The next time, <laughs> the next time, <laughs> time you come in, we'll, we got we to gotta bring Come on, that's how you come through. If you don't come through a pizza, I'll kick you out. Kick you out. We got to bring the pizza next time you come by. Why you not heat it up, though? That's true. I got an oven upstairs. I got an oven, bro. Come on. That's true. A microwave and an oven. And an air fryer. I got two air fryers here. Don't do the microwave. You're going to ruin it. Unless the microwave got the pizza thing. I don't know. Nah, nah. It does, but nah, I would have put it microwave. Just the fact that you waited in line, this is enough credit enough as it is. For sure. We got an air fryer. We got the oven with the broil. Good. I'll tell you right now, if I wasn't with my wife. She was all grumpy. I would have been petty and waiting in line. Word. Oh, man. Sally's, man. I, I, I got to give it a shot. Sally's. I'm going to give it a shot. I tried mine. I tried mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried finger papers. I never yeah. tried Sally's. Uh, that's the only way. Nah, I should have took a picture of that line. Bro, that's, that's the, the mission. That's the mission, mission for next weekend. That line was like, it was like, the that's, like black, <laughs> that's like Black <laughs> Friday like it was, shit. Like it was the club. <laughs> it was Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah, it's a Walmart. Walmart Black Friday. That's what it is. Oh, man. I love some food, but real quick, before we uh, log off for, for the night, we got to hit the sports. We, we we veered off a couple of sports topics, but to weed back into it, I'll talk to uh, Kaiwan real quick. Niners had a big win last weekend. Oh, yeah. Niners had a yeah. big week a big win game. last weekend. It wasn't a win, it was a blowout. It's a blowout. It was, blowout. It was huge. It was and it looked, it looked like that at first. First quarter. Look like Eagles might take a man. I tell you right now, man, if we, if, we play, if we keep playing like this, I don't really see no team beating us. I don't either. Right honestly. Now, right now, I got, after my, we, after we I got McCaffrey for uh, MVP. When we beat the Jaguars, no one's no one I'm talking about. Uh, over Tyreek? Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Jaguars, 34 3. And the, ja- and the Jags were on fire. Yeah. The Jags play. were on they fire. Like 7 3, 8 yeah. three, something like that. They were good. They, ball. They, could, they could play. I mean,. I tell you right now, man, if we fire all cylinders, I don't think no team can beat us. I, I really, I, I really believe I, that. Like I said, I you know what's crazy? I, I still think. For MVP, man. But the only person probably that can probably get us is Eagles. Is, um, that, that's it. No, now you have any Eagles. What? Nah, that's when, crazy. When it comes to playoffs. You guys beat them, you blow them out, but to, I don't think. When it comes to You playoffs, can't blow them off. Do not blow them off. Hear me out. Don't underestimate. When it comes to playoffs, this guy is just, I'm going to give him respect. Who? When it comes to playoffs, he just clamps down and he just plays on another level. Who? Mahomes. Yeah. But that's the Super Bowl. But you you got to worry about him to the Super Bowl. Right now, ours is fooling you. He's struggling with teams. When the playoffs come, he's going to pick people apart. For the AFC, I agree. I agree for the AFC. You know? But you guys, San Fran don't got to worry about that to the Super Bowl. I think I think we're going to beat the Eagles. We meet him again, we're going to beat him. Oh, you know, oh, okay. That's but rough. You, but then you know that's saying a lot, bro. But you know who's gonna give you a hard time? Long Prairie don't get injured, and we don't have no. If we have a quarterback, you guys have a good quarterback. Him. Back now up. We got Chase Young, Nick Bosa. We ain't playing. We're, we're oh. thirsty now. <laughs> you know, you're hungry. Ooh, I love it. You know, we're hungry. Go ahead, you know Big J. Give you a problem if you if you beat the Eagles. You know who give you a problem? And I guarantee you, you might not believe it. Be Detroit. They I don't see. Like, I don't see it. Will give you a I don't like see a it, bro. Watch, nobody, watch. Kind just of, because yeah. they're cutting them out just for sure. He's, he's they're him. gonna be under. They're gonna be so underrated in that game that the, the, the line's gonna come to fucking play. Watch. What? I do. Dave Montgomery had a nice game too. He can watch. run. He run the ball hard. Not play. Montgomery runs. He runs good. Yeah, he he does. Hard. Yeah. Watch. They got Peoples Jones, Brown, Reynolds. I'm not worried about Peoples Jones. People join the Cleveland. No, 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 I'm not worried about him. Just, I'm just you need to. There's a reason. Why the only one I'm worried about in the passing run. game, yeah, honestly, is the Porta. Is the Porta? They they got no receivers to kill you. Even you know, even though I like Jamison Williams, who's a beast, they're not using him the right way. Nope. He's not a he's not an issue. Nope. If you lock down the Porta, mm. what are they gonna do? Just run? Nope. Boom! Nope. Niners will stack nine in the box. Like Boom! Said, you can't right run now, on me. Right you now, can't run on me. MVP is either between Christian McCaffrey or Tyreek Hill. I'm gonna have to go Tyreek Hill. Christian McCaffrey, bro. But they are doubling. No, hold on. If you didn't have McCaffrey on that team, they wouldn't be winning like they are. I think they would. No, they won't. I think they would. Take away all his touchdowns. Because you saw what they did with Mostert. You saw what they did with Jeff Wilson. Our defense always been nasty. When Jeff Wilson was there, he was putting the points. Our defense always been nasty, What is Jeff Wilson doing now? Nothing. 
Our defense been nasty. No, they, they, their defense been balling. McCaffrey is just an extra bonus. <clears throat> That's a cheat code, honestly. This is an extra bonus. But, uh, but I, I got to go Tyreek. The team is Debo Samuels. He carries. My man he he just carries. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He just carried last game. That's it. No, but. He, he, just, he just carried y'all last game, honestly. Yeah, but when he got a chip on his shoulder, when he want to play, when he want to play. But that's not every game. See, that's what's crazy. Debo He's a great you, player. Debo now you can play, man. They could. I, Yo, we that's a weapons, top ten. Jen, Jen is, he's like a Radio Mars show. Why don't you, Jen, Jennings? Hey, yeah, I know this. 6'4". Yep. We got kiddos. We got Brandon Ayuk. You guys have a dangerous offense. Yo, Brandon Ayuk got so many people. But you know what's crazy? Debo don't show up every week. He don't show up every week. That's it doesn't. Like, that's, you know, that's, but you, that, but you, that's an issue, you though. You know why, though, right? Because it's all McCaffrey, yo. Their the, the offense is based on McCaffrey. Oh, but I can see the Eagles stopping that. You guys beat him. You guys routed him this last game. It was great. It was great. Not to not 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 to take away from that, but that probably won't happen again. I think it happened. Today. You think Debo will put up three touchdowns again? I'm not saying that's rough, bro. bro. That's it'll rough. Be, it'll be a Uke. I'm not saying it, it might not. Down, but we got so many weapons, bro. You do. We're the most physical team on defense. You guys have the best roster bro, you in the league. We did Mike Swift. We DeAndre rocked DeAndre Swift. Them, we rocked them, bro. Like yo. Dre Greenlaw, do suplex. Yeah. Yo, we <laughs> yo. Both, nah, yo, you guys heard DeAndre. I might not play him this week in fantasy, bro. When you, when you added, when you I'm added scared to. When you added Chase Young, just made it even just even oh more. Oh, when they traded for Chase Young, I was like, that's the cheat code, bro. But I won't be surprised if he loses to Seattle. Seattle is just. They, just, they, just, they always play you tough. That's the division opponent. Division opponent. Those are always tough, so don't. Always, yeah. Always. So even if you lose that. Don't take nothing uh, on it. Yeah, yeah, get the man. Yeah, get Purdy, man. Purdy, he, that man, balling. He's balling. He I balling. thought that was your weakness, and I was proven wrong. Man, for 14, imagine, imagine pulling up fifty dollars on Purdy for four TDs, Debo three TDs, boom. God, that's like a hundred thousand. That's like a hundred thousand at least. Like Canelo voice. On Fanduel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? This, this year, playoffs are gonna be a lot. There's not a good team that on paper that you don't see or you see it without worrying. It's gonna it's gonna be an awesome the playoffs. AMC is wide open. Don't know who can win an AMC. Who's the more dominant AMC? Nobody. 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 Absolutely nobody. Not even the Chiefs. Not even the Chiefs. The Jaguars. The NFC is a tough division. Is the a tough conference tough to get through. You got the Eagles and you got the, the Niners. You got the Lions. The Lions. And the AFC is wide open. Wide open. You even yeah. got Seattle. If like, Seattle you know, sneaks like, in, that's know, a that's really, sleep. If, that's, you had, if you had to pick an AMC, the only person you can pick is probably just Miami. Because your firepower is ridiculous. Is that Baltimore? Yeah, really Baltimore, like Baltimore's well. playing really good, Baltimore, man. Baltimore's really playing really good. Like but what's going to hurt them is Mark Andrews being out. That's the problem. It does hurt. Really it does hurt. Vegas is involved, bro. Vegas, it could Vegas, be. Vegas. But there's so many examples this year of Vegas happened, being involved with happened, NFL. Um, last week, um, two days ago, with Pittsburgh and uh, New England. Oh, everybody, yeah. everybody in the world picked Pittsburgh. Everybody had money on Pittsburgh. Even I, got their money back. Even I did. I'm a Patriots fan. In our fantasy league, we got pickums. Everybody took Pittsburgh. Everybody took. I bet everything Pittsburgh it was on the Vegas, over. It was at Pittsburgh. Vegas, yep. Vegas put their money. They, they get their money. I'm they get their you. money back. They of course. Go, they pick one team out of all the games, and they. I'm telling you, that shit. They bet. We get our money back. The New England's winning this game. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but the thing is, I really believe that. Pittsburgh. No, no, they I'm with you on that. Dude, Pittsburgh was fighting for a playoff spot too. They are. It's not like it wasn't like it was a game exactly. that they just threw up. They just New England's defense is good, but you saw what Pittsburgh could do. They threw a bomb over J.C. Jackson, Deontay Johnson touchdown. You could throw on them. The Patriots defense is good. The offense is crap. 100% crap. You could definitely put some points up. 100% crap. It'll be hard to come by because their defense is good, but I'm you could put points on them, man. We need to, we need to find a connect that knows something. Putting the house on right. it. Hey. God, I, just, right. I would love to find one. If you out there, hit me up. <laughs> I would love to find one, man. I'm joking, bro. That's just I'm telling you, they. I'm telling you, they it feels it feels like that. I don't want to think money. that because that'll ruin football for me. I wouldn't watch it anymore if that came out. Of course, honestly. Of course. So I don't think that, but I could I could see it sometimes. I could see it with Pacheco. He took that slide at the one yard line. <laughs> if he would have scored, Chiefs would have had the over. They would have had the spread. They would have had, but no, because everybody took that. They didn't cover. They won, but they didn't cover. Mm-hmm. Vegas got a lot of that money back because of that. It, it feels like it. It just feels like that. I hope to God it's not true, but 
Well, that's the case, man. That's it's so bad. Team, uh, each each week they pick one team that's going to be heavily favored. Yeah, a lot of money coming on that side, and they get the Jacksonville, back. Jacksonville, Cincinnati this past weekend, this past Monday night, right? Cincinnati won. Yeah, yeah. I had everything on the over for Jacksonville. I lost only two things: the spread and the money line. I picked Jacksonville to win and to cover by ten points. They don't got Joe Burrow. But they came through and won in Jacksonville against a good defense. That makes you think. It's like, really? I hit everything else. Yards, catches. I hit over pass yards. I hit over receiving yards for Zay Jones, I believe. I had all the hits. I lost two. I'm thinking, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking. I think next week's pick, I think Vegas is going to probably take from the Niners again. They're going to see how going to win. Think so? I'm thinking. Is that Seattle? I don't see it. No, I think it's that San Fran. I was just looking at that, honestly. It might be, it might be on San Fran, but they're going to pick I'm taking San Fran. I'm going to take San Fran. They're going to pick one team, though. You, you guys are rolling right now. You guys are hot right who, now. Who do the Eagles play next week? Where they play next Dallas. Week? Oh. I, pick, I picked the Eagles to win. They lost to the Niners. They might, they might go ahead and I think the Eagles are they're going to they come back. Because Dallas, again, you, Dal- Dallas only beat one Vegas good team this year. Who was that? Seattle? Seattle, that's it. I haven't, I haven't that's who they beat. Tomorrow. I got to check the games tomorrow. Check it out. Games here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love. I usually watch it upstairs. Yeah, we can come down here. I have access down here. I just okay. Yeah, tomorrow's writing a lot of. I got some fucking fantasy, fantasy bro. Fantasy is sure. big tomorrow because the, tomorrow's the last week. If you have playoffs in your fantasy league, yeah. Tomorrow's the last yeah, regular yeah. season week for us oh, for fantasy. Yeah, okay. yeah, I got a lot of shit riding on tomorrow. Bro. Oh yeah, you need, you need like two guys to lose. You win. You're in the playoffs. Yeah, my boys, the Eagles fan. They got they got Cowboys uh, tomorrow. Yeah, so today, so today football. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah, yeah. Well, who Monday That's night? gonna be a test. Uh, two games Monday night, which is weird. So you got Titans, uh, Dolphins, so and got you got Packers team. at the Giants. Yeah, so I got I got Hopkins going Monday night, then. Oh yeah. And I got AJ Brown going on Sunday. You gonna start DeAndre? Uh, he gave over 100 touch last week. Yes, I start DeAndre. Mm-hmm. Versus who though? Indy. Indy. Uh, Indy still got a good defense. Who who, who they play this week? Miami. I, still I mean, he has a good corner, at least. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. He's only going up in the air. Yeah. No, I'm up in the air on DeAndre Swift because he got hurt last week against expect, uh, the I expect, Niners. I expect A.J. Brown to have a good uh, day tomorrow. Oh, A.J. Brown's going to have a great day. If D.K. could put up, what, 150, 180? Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns on Dallas? <laughs> A.J. Brown's going to do the same. I'm hoping, obviously. Again, this is, this is the last week of fantasy to go to the playoffs. Yeah, they don't do that. Who? <laughs> oh, the players don't. No, 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 of course. No, this is us talking as fantasy top, owners. Top three receivers in the league right now. In our fantasy? AJ Brown, Tyreek Hill, Keenan Allen right now. Yeah. Hands down. That's that's easy. Number one running back. Debo just, Debo just creeped into the top ten because you of his performance against Philly. Who, you already know who number one running back yeah, is. You know, you know his potential. His potential is well, his potential is up there for sure, but he, he's not consistent. He, that, that dude was, not that, consistent. He's a ball, he turned the bears in. Or he's always hurt. You already know who's running number one running back. McCaffrey. Yeah. McCaffrey. Yeah. Hands down. I got him. I don't know how you guys finesse Carolina for that. I really don't. This dude's in the red, too. He's nice, too. Cooper Cup. No, Cup is a beast. You know why? He just hurt, man. He's hurt. You know why he's shadowed now? Because that dude, that. Puka? Puka. Puka's a beast, but. He's just like him, yo. He's just like him. (sighs) Another, another. Couple's hurt, though. Couple's hurt. So you gotta. He's a physical. (laughs) Bro, those are the first. Basketball celebrity game. LeBron James. Having the boards go across. That's my. But that's it, though. Did you see Miles Garrett? Physical Beast special. Yeah. Miles Garrett's a monster. DK, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. DK, four touchdowns all year. He had three against Dallas. That was week 11, he week con- 10. Did he sign a contract? Yeah, he's with them for, for a little bit. Uh, they might get traded. I, I take my capital. New England needs to do something this year. You guys need a receiver and a quarterback. Oh, like a it's going to be a lot. Vertical. That's crazy. No, it's, it's insane. His physique yeah, is vertical. ridiculous. Like, yeah, no, for, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is, but it's it's wild. You should be windmilling. He's... He well, does, though. I think, I think he does. Honestly, oh, I think he does. Fastbreaks and celebrity basketball. He just grabbed the board coast to coast. Miles Bro, Garrett. no, he's a beast. He's, Miles he's, Garrett's a little heavy. He's different. Miles, Miles Garrett was throwing it down, too. Right. That's crazy, yeah. He's like 6'7", though, right? He's big, dude. He's big. No, not 6'7". He's, he's like got to like be like 6'5". Like compared to the football players, he don't look that big. But he was against these big like basketball league. players. Yeah, yeah. Miles Garrett was, was looking like fucking like a big-ass Shaquille O'Neal. It was ridiculous. No, he's a beast. I don't, I don't know if he's 6'7", though. I always say 6'5". He's big, though. But no, he's a big he's dude. He's a big dude. Jack like a motherfucker. Yeah. crazy. Yeah, he got a little body fat. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Got yeah. Got but, no, this cat, Matt Cavity, something, 
There's something he does. I don't think he eats meat or something. It's something that he does. That no, he, no, it was crazy. He's he eats with Skittles. He, he eats Skittles, Skittles, bro. All the time. Skittles all day long. Skittles. He's eating Skittles. That's his candy. He does the same thing about that. Dwight That's Howard his go-to, to bro. Thing. And Dwight Howard used to eat junk food all the time, and he was ripped as hell. He's ripped now. He's still ripped now. He got more ripped now. And he likes men, so <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not real. That's real? I think it's real. Yeah, but the thing about basketball, when you do all them weightlifting, weightlifting workouts, you lose a jump shot, man. That's what I'm like, saying, yeah. Steph, Steph's not you're ripped. Stronger. Yeah. You're stronger because you're probably going to throw the ball. Yeah. Bro, Steph's that's not ripped. Why, Dave is not ripped. That's why I want Luka to pull out more muscle, but not as much. Because he will lose his shot. Thing, you lose your yeah. shot, yeah. Name one person that got built. That got built and, yeah. and Actually, but you know what? Who? Le- LeBron got bigger and makes more shots now. No, he wasn't in Cleveland. He's, he, he, he no, it's because he's working on his shot. That's why. But still, but he still got bigger head shots. It's got a lot smoother. You can't be. Nah, right, right, that's rough. Yeah, you can't be. You can't. can't. Just throw the ball like that. No, all, yeah, all, like yeah, exactly. All like, skinny guys, yeah, all the thin people are the best shooters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Steph, when Reggie Miller, Howard, Ray Allen Keanu was Neal, Ray Allen was thin for a while. Neal, he couldn't have saved like. I don't know. Giannis can't shoot yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, no, matter of fact, Shaq finally announced there's only three people who dunked on him. It was Derek Mason. Um. Derek Mason. Derek Mason. Desmond. Uh, who's, I don't know. Who's, 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 Derek Coleman. Dunk? Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman. And there's two other dudes. He said, the only guys that ever dunked on him. Shaq? He said, I've seen there have been flybys, like, people who dunked over him. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about actual dunkers with three guys. It's in, it's in an interview, interview somewhere. Oh, uh, check it out. Three check guys. It out. Only three guys. That were, and believe it, it's not the people you thought. It's just two, uh, two guys. Who the fuck are they? Yeah. Hey. Yao, Kobe, and no, no, no. It's just, just three guys. Three guys ever dunked on Shaq. Derek Coleman was an old name because he was a dunker. Derek Coleman was a dunker. He was good for that. Derek Coleman, yeah. He was on the Sixers, yeah, at one point, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, the thing is, I don't, I don't think. You said to buy? Yeah, shout out to Bias, bro. Bro. Tobias, yo, I used to hate playing against Tobias because every time Tobias ran the lane, he put horrible. Yo, Tobias, he put that knee up in the air, bro. Horrible. Shout out to Tobias. Shout out to Tobias. You know, but he's a dude you want on your team because you always got the foul. Yo, for real, all the time. I don't know if he knew how to flop or not, but like Tobias used to get the foul, bro. Shout out Tobias. Yeah. Tobias is funny to play with, man. But that knee, when he used to drive, that knee used to be up here, bro. Yeah. Hit you with a chin type status. No like, for real, it's crazy. <laughs> Tobias, I remember, remember balling with Kaiwan back in the day. He's about to oh, pull up for a jumper. JJ Reddick. Boom. JJ Reddick. Yeah, ball is like the best stuff, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> man, like Derek Coleman, who else? I, I, tell you, I, I think you're wrong about Derek Coleman. I, I swear I remember Desmond Mason specifically. Desmond Mason? Like, yeah. like Sonic's Desmond Mason? Sonic's Desmond Mason. Really? I'll yeah, check I, that out. Because I, I would remember him saying Coleman. Yeah. But I swear he said Desmond Mason. That's possible. Not Anthony Mason, right? No. No, Anthony Mason was kind of trash. Dude, For a basketball standards. I, I need to find it. I need to, like... My phone, my phone's too slow, bro. It's three, only three he had minutes. Just yeah. three. Huh. Three he had minutes that actually jammed on him. He said he had tons of flybys when yeah. he got out the way. But actual, like, on, on, like, body on body was only three guys. I got to check that out. I got to check that out. So, we'll see. But, so, NJ Podcast. We're, we're full of homeless topics today, so. I mean, oh, we touched on many things, man. It, it, was, it was a good episode. It was a good one. If you guys out there, uh, share it, like it, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. We appreciate it big time. We're on Spreaker. We're on Google Podcasts. Conversation's been great, always, like always, man. We're on iTunes Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, what else we got? Spotify, mm-hmm. iTunes, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, yeah. Apple Podcasts. Um, even SoundCloud, I think. I think I spotted. Uh, yeah, 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 it's something out there. We post our, we post our reels on TikTok. It. It's, it's no. not hard to find. It's not hard to listen. Follow the EJ podcast on uh, Facebook, Instagram as well. We got that one as well. Tune in next week. We got 
Mr. Santana in the building. Oh, Hovey. Shout out Mr. Hovey. Santana, talks some basketball. He's, he's a big basketball head. We talk some basketball. Come on, you're more than welcome to come back. Yo, thanks for having all the time, me, man. man. So, man, I always have a blast. Yeah. Oh, it's always good all topics, time, bro. We're chilling, drinking a little bit. You know. I have a blast yeah, so, all the time, man. Talking some, uh, some basketball. Let's see who's winning the game real quick before we, we log off. Let's see who's there. Uh, Lakers are up by five late in the third quarter. It's going to be a good one. We'll see who who's it's crowned in tournament champion. Real quick, quick thoughts on the tournament. It's gonna be LeBron. It's better than no, quick thoughts on the tournament overall. I don't like it. It's a waste of time. Why? I, I gotta hear the why. You honestly, know, how is this bringing people more more? How is this bringing more? Attention? You know, you know what I see. I'm, you know, you know me. I'm big into theories, yeah. conspiracy theories. Their TV deal, NBA TV deals up in 2025. Okay, so what? So they they try to they try to get the regular season viewership up to keep those TV deals. TV deals going, ESPN, okay. ABC, we'll ESPN. Shorten the league. Shorten the league. sorry. I said ESPN shorten twice. Shorten the league to 70 games. Does that help? Yeah. You, you get to play, you get to all You say the same thing with baseball. more energetic. You basically you don't do as much as you do in basketball. Still, 162 games is wild. Yeah, you rather pay No one's watching the first 75 games. Would you rather pay 162 baseball, uh, basketball games? No, 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 no. no. Everybody, everybody, I think eighty-two is like the. Per, I think eighty-two is the perfect number. People are saying you got to cut that down. To what? Seventy-five? Seventy? Just, just to keep people more engaged. You keep the seventy. The players like so no, so no rest yeah, nights. Yeah. On bad, they, they cut out back to backs most of the time. They're trying to cut out back to backs most. Of the yeah, they are to avoid people taking rest days or whatever, etc. Well, you know what? There's more of duplicating people you play. I know we play Portland at home, and then we go back again to play Portland uh, again at home the next day. Like, it's ridiculous. And we play the Pelicans, and the Pelicans come back to us the next day. Like, really? They did that They did that multiple times. That's weird. That is, that is weird. Is, at, was at Dallas, or they're like both at Portland? They're both at Portland. Monday and Tuesday. So maybe that's why. Monday and Tuesday. Like, but why? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's why. To keep the travel low. To keep the travel low so you don't need players that need rest so much. Because the air travel, the travel between games, is what's causing these players to take rest days. So, next week is yeah. going to be funny because... You play Hovey this week in fantasy. Oh. How that's going to go down is going to be First hard. round of playoffs, I might play Hovey again. Right. So, Hovey, you're going down, bro. It's all love, but we'll you talk suck. About we'll talk about it then. Uh, Fan team is trash. I got Justin Jefferson going off for at least 25 this week. Let's see what he does. It's going to be awesome. Come on. We appreciate you coming through, bro. All right, fam. It's always good. Hey, man. I appreciate everything, man. We'll be here next week. We'll do two episodes next week. Sure. It's going to be a, a great Saturday next week. Surprise for Big J. He doesn't know what's going on, but it's going to be a good one. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, nice. So if you guys uh, tuned in, well, check out next week. Surprise me a popping shit. Isn't that cool? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely unexpected. Unless, I won't t- unless it's Nick or something. That'd be great. Nah, nah, I won't tell you. Yeah, so next Saturday. You. Next Saturday. It's going to be good. Next Saturday, I get money, so we'll, we'll, all right. I'll <laughs> It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good episode. We're doing like a, a few next week. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a packed day. It's gonna be okay, awesome. So if you, yeah, 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 if you got some time, come through. Even if you come through, if, bro, even if you come through for a quick 20, 30 minutes, it's all love. Always, you're always invited. We chill, talk some crap, talk some sports. Go Green Bay. Don't sleep on Green Bay this year. I'm Big J signing off. Big J, later, bro. Kaiwan. Good to see you, man. Uh, good, man great episode. Good some stuff. It's always a pleasure, man. Have a good time, man. We'll get some more out there. We'll get some more out there. For sure. Well, take care, everybody. Remember, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Google, Spreaker, iTunes. Wherever you want to follow your podcast, we, we there. Later.